Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the final round of the 29th Abu Dhabi Chess Festival, which is held from the 14th of August until 24th of August. And today we have the final round. And here with you will be International Master Ravi Kumar. Hello to everyone. And me, Woman Grandmaster Maria Gevorkian. How are you, Ravi? How um, are you feeling? I feel excited. Uh, I could uh, catch a glimpse of some of the Grandmasters, you know, arriving a bit early there. And, um, you know, so I, I, we could see who was at breakfast and who was skipping breakfast. I didn't see the, any of the top two players. You didn't? No, I didn't see them. I don't think they arrived earlier, I think. Maybe they just yeah. went earlier because I skipped the breakfast, so I missed the chance to see everyone. Yeah, they, they, they just need to arrive on time. And uh, today we have very interesting guests. We have two leaders, which are Fedosev Vladimir and Ksyuk Sanju. Both yeah. of them have six and a half points out of eight. Yeah. And we have five players with six points. And today... On the first board, we have a game between Ferocier Vladimir and uh, Hans Niemann Mok. And on the second board, we're going to have Matlakov Maxim against uh, Ksyuk Sianju. And then on the third board, we'll have uh, Lu Sheng Li against Aravins, with both, both of them have six points. And on the board number four, we will have Narayanan, who didn't manage to win the Rook and the Knight against the Rook end game yesterday, so it ended in a draw against the Pranis. And we have a result on the board number three, by the way, already. <coughs> <coughs> and so quickly. So quickly, it ended in a draw, and uh, Lu Shang Li and Aravind, both of them got six and a half points. Yeah. And uh, we have a lot of uh, exciting games today. And let me remind you again that the winner of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival will take with him home $15,000 and the second place will take uh, 10000 and then it goes $6,000, yeah. $4,000, and then so on until the place number 10. And uh, do you have any predictions on the first board? Because uh, I, I kind of uh, felt that Hans Niemann arrived early, and also I saw him, you know, pacing up and down. You know, he's getting geared up for battle, and he's one of the players not known to take short draws. Yes, yes, he and, would and, and, and he would like to win this game because then that would put him ahead. And, you know, uh, and uh, I, I'm, I, I think this will be like one of our best games today. And, uh, and you could see in, from the opening that, that, you know, that he plays a very sharp line now. Yeah, this opening was played a lot by the way yeah. in this tournament, and uh, so yeah, yeah, and Catalan. I, uh, yeah, and I I think this C six is very standard than B six. Yes. So for our viewers, can we show why C D five and Queen C six is not working yeah. after B six? C D five, I believe, is C D five. Yes. And then Queen C six. You know, this is what some people will be thinking. Why not I go there? But there is just bishop a6. Bishop a6, and I think now this queen is in trouble. I, I feel that, that you know, the queen didn't achieve anything <coughs> going in there. Exactly, and e2 pawn is hanging right now. Yeah, pawn Rook is hanging as well. might be happening. Yeah. Well, uh, he didn't play this. He played um, b6, yeah. bishop f4, and bishop a6. Yeah, I, you remember this position was repeated between the two Chinese players, yes. where knight h5, bd2. But I think Hans Niemann wants a proper game here today. We will see, because let's not forget that he's actually playing right now with the black pieces. So it, now it might not be an easy game. I mean, uh, yeah, winning the game might put him in the lead, and uh, he will probably have his second and third places at least, depending from the game uh, on the second board. But uh, is it an easy task? To fight yeah. with the black pieces the last yeah. round against the leader of the tournament. Yeah, and uh, not much difference in the rating between them, isn't it? No, there is not a big difference. It's okay. 16 points. And uh, yeah, I mean, he played bishop a6, you're right. It, did, it didn't repeat knight h5, knight f6. Yeah, I think, I think probably white could play bishop c1 and then b3 and not repeat it, but... But uh, I think white uh, might be even fine. I mean, also uh, Fedosev, he's playing with the white pieces. 
the win in the game is uh, making him uh, share at least first and second places, at least, uh, if not the first uh, solely. So I think we're going to see a very interesting fight. And let's not forget that every place is giving a big difference in a prize uh, amount. Yes. And also it's, it's always a good feeling when you win a tournament and uh, especially when you win the last round. Yes, we have Knight BD2 on the chessboard. Yeah, this, this looks like very, 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 you know, solid play by White. You know, he is, is, he's just keeping it. I think Black wants to play C5 at the right moment. And that's why all this preparation is leading to that. But maybe Rook C8 right maybe now. Maybe Rook C8 work, followed by C5. A4. Yeah, there's one problem with Rook C8. Maybe there's Queen A4. So he has to wait, isn't it? He has to. But uh, he will try. Is there a knight h5 working here or what? Yeah, he played knight h5. Yeah, knight h5, I think. Bishop e3. Bishop e3, e3 some f5, I don't know. He, he will he will play for a win. All his games, Hans Niemann played uh, fighting games. Yeah. G4s, G5s. Uh, yeah. If we look back in the tournament, he was playing a very fighting chess. And okay. there is a chance that we're going to see a fighting game here on the first board. I, I, I wanted to ask you, you know, there is mention of a player who won five in a row. Exactly. Uh, that's very hard in international chess, isn't it? Winning five in a row. It is. We have uh, international master Pranis playing on the board number four, and we can see how it started. He started with uh, two losses against Artemiev and Beldoyaleva, and then he got... Wins. wins. Continuous wins. Continuous and wins. I don't see them, but I guess he won the first round, and then he lost two in a row, and then yeah. he won five rounds in a row, which is amazing, we can say. And it's not only he won, he won uh, strong grandmasters. Yeah, yeah, I believe he won against... Uh, and today he's uh, playing against Narayanan, and uh, he has... Yeah, I, I, I was surprised Narayanan won yesterday, I mean... Yeah. Can we have a quick look for the benefit of the viewers? What Narayanan drew yesterday. Ah, uh, drew yesterday, yes, so he, he didn't says. win. He okay. didn't win with the rook and the So knight. it was, okay. Bishop and rook has some chances, but knight yes. and rook... Yes. Okay, so here I think very uncompromising play by the player from India, Vipula, yes. and I think that, uh, and uh, you know this this is, um, you know it's just uh, after knight bd7, bishop d3, e5. I think this is very uncompromising play, and also for for the viewers we could say that you know. Uh, that the the last round, the win in the last round is very important. Of course. Because one, you get some rating points back, and two, you get uh, you know a higher position than normally. So so I can see this is really fighting chess. But is he going to play d5 here? In your opinion, uh, will will he play d5 or is d5 too early here? Uh, let's check it out because we know that if Black gets a chance to play d5 yeah. and get rid of this uh, weakness on d6, then yeah. it's only a favor for him. But does White has some move here? And we can see that he's spent uh, quite more time than uh, Narayanan. And we were talking about this yesterday that Narayanan is very well prepared in his openings. His repertoire is very, very ready, we can say. So d5. What is the white's idea here? Maybe just to capture? Yeah, capture, knight captures, and then yeah. there is some, some uh, what do you call, some something with bishop at seven. So I don't know whether this is, a, a, you know, this is possible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe too early in the game, but I don't know, but this is possible. So d5, I don't think is, is going to be played, I guess. I think he can prepare. Instead of d5, he should prepare. And then comes the issue where I feel that white can play c4. So if you go back a move and he doesn't play d5, and let's say if he plays a normal move like bishop e7, I, I believe white is going to put c4 in and then fix that backward yeah. pawn. Well, I mean, uh, can we say that white is uh, better here? Slightly better, yeah. I would say. White is uh, uh, very slightly better. And, uh, you know, I think Narayanan playing the last round with White, he would really like the idea of control of d5. And then he's got a clear plan. How is black going to break through? So that's, yeah. that's the 
cost in here. And so. shall we go to the board number second, where our another leader is playing against, uh, Matlakov is playing against Ksuk Sanju, and Matlakov won a nice game yesterday. Uh, let's check it out, the opening, I think we have the Grunfeld, right? Yeah, uh, that was a surprise, you know, when I went in to see the board, yeah. that, that, you know, they are playing mainline systems are not something very safe. And uh, here, so he's got various choices here, isn't it? Yeah. After having played h3, uh, you know, he's, he's probably aiming for quick bishop e3, queen d2, and uh, for h3, do you think the main reason to stop bishop g4? Uh, probably, so probably, that the yeah, d4 pawn will not be hanging yeah, later. Yeah, d4 pawn will not be hanging. And moves like queen a5, I think he can go bd2, I, I believe that. And uh, I think this is still in a line, so black yeah. probably will play castle. Uh, yeah. Bishop e2, let's say, and it is knight c6. Uh, yeah, this this looks very lines. typical play, isn't yeah. it? It's a Grunfeld lines. We're going to see a lot of, yeah, castle was played and uh, bishop e2 probably will be played very soon. I think uh, his, I like his approach because he's playing something solid and, you know, against the Grunfield he's just playing nice quiet line yes. just to get that thing. And bishop e3 was played. Yeah, bishop e3. I think, I think still this is, uh, I think the idea is something like knight c6, some d5 will come and then bishop c3 check, bd2 and then there's some some exchange but knight c6 he's fully prepared you know he might want to put the bishop on c4 we don't know yet yes. but uh, I was thinking for black black should play c takes d4 c takes d4 and then knight c6 I think I, I thought this 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 is typical play with uh, you know e6 b6 bishop b7 because yeah. this is typical play and and fight for the c4 square but uh, I don't think he's going to release the tension that quickly so we he's going to keep we have knight c6 yeah, this is the move, isn't it? I mean, I think bishop e2, he he might play queen c7 followed by rook d8. Bishop e2 will be played, most yeah, probably, and it's yeah. and now maybe black can capture on d4. Yeah, and then the, the plan is quite clear here, isn't and it? And queen a5 check. Maybe yeah. bishop d2, what is happening? Maybe, uh, well, queen d8 is possible, but the move here is, I guess, queen a3. Yeah. We'll, we'll see some chess happening. So for, for our benefit of you as after you, you're in your line, white can't play queen d2 because after queen d2, king d2, rook d8, there is some trouble on the d4 mm. pawn. But I'm wondering why they are spending so much time. I mean, if, uh, yeah, c takes, c takes on d4 and now it's uh, black Queen f5 check. Yes, most probably. And then queen d2, queen takes d2. d2. Yeah, Bishop queen f5 check played. And queen d2. There we will see. We'll have a repetition here, like with queen d8. Yeah, but I think he he will play queen a3 because because he he will get queen a3, and then you still have the problem of the d4 pawn. Yes. So queen d2 here is is I guess the idea. Uh, queen d2, I think black can just capture and uh, capture and and then the rook d8. The king will be in the center. Yeah, yeah not 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 very it's nice. Not the best line. So yeah. bishop after queen a5, bishop d2 looks uh, the most logical move. Yeah. Yeah. So very clean opening played here, in my opinion, and uh, I think uh, yeah, this this is uh, quite. Uh, Thing. So what's happened? The, the draw we can, you know, I think it was just uh, console. You know, they're they're ensuring they're tying for the second prize, something like that, yeah, or yeah. or, or third. I don't know what they are tying for. But second is uh, draw is quite possible in this game. Yeah. We can say that uh, and it's uh, very very fine for both of them. Uh, Matlakov also had a very long tournament, and eventually he managed to better his positions. And the Frog Suk Sanju, he's playing with the black pieces and, uh, well, yeah, he's still in the lead, but... Uh, and especially that the third board already finished in a draw, Suk Sanju is... Uh, looks like he's just uh, fixing his second place with the draw, right? Yeah. Oh. And, and uh, no more moves in that Narayanan Pranit Vipla because I think he's thinking, isn't it, still? 
Varenan is yeah, he's got he, he's he's got this no, issue. We have moves. Uh, black plate bishop e seven. Bishop e seven. Okay. Castle, 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 and castle. like we said, c four. C four. You know, this this is. Uh, I think uh, grandmasters like you thrive on small edges, aren't you? Uh, of course, if we get a chance, we'll try. Uh, I I don't have their technique. I will not compare myself okay. to them. But uh, no, no. I mean, like this is kind of position yeah. would would appeal to you. Like you got that d five. You know he. I think what black has to show something for against this, isn't it? Black, what's yeah. what's happening with black's knight? You know, yes. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with black already. Well, we're gonna see an interesting game because Narayanan will try to win this game. Absolutely, of course, he uh, he's gonna go for it, and uh, because with six points, he's not uh, securing himself. A well, maybe he secures himself a top 10, but then we have a lot of players with the five points, so he needs a win. And of course, Pranis, uh, he will try to also win. Draw will be fine for him, I guess. Is he securing a GM norm with a draw? Let's check yeah, it it's possible. Can we check that? Uh, I think who's, who's in line for the GM? I think Pranit, his performance. Yeah, I think uh, with a draw, he is. Uh, he will get it. Taking the GM norm, and uh, also his rating will go up. Yeah. Like he will already be in the 2500 club. Well, so this is an important game for Pranis after showing such a string of wins, and I think. Really. Uh, you know, I mean. <clears throat> And, and Narayanan has showed that he's a very solid player, isn't yeah. it? Shall we go to the board number five to see yes, what Artemia is yeah. doing? Yeah. Well, it uh, uh, looks like Artemia will also try his best to play his this game because. Mm -hmm. And we have English opening. Yeah. Very solid approach uh, by both both grandmasters. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have a long, interesting game here. And uh, also on the board number uh, six, we have Kobalia Mikhail. Uh, oh. he, he played a very good uh, games lately, so we can see that uh, he lost two games in a row yeah. also. And then he uh, won two games, drew one game, and then won another game. Yeah. So three and a half points out of last four games, which is... Uh, Good result, of course, and he somehow is fighting for the prizes in the end of the tournament in the last round with the white pieces against um, Grandmaster Murzin. And we have also five and a half points on the board number six and seven. Okay, this was no board number six and seven. Abdi Salimov, Abdi Malik against Asaubayeva. Asaubayeva, we can say that she showed a very, very beautiful chess yesterday. She beat her opponent. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good game, wasn't yes. it? Uh, but looks like she will need a win today to secure herself a GM norm. Or maybe draw is enough. I, I think she needs a win. Can we have a look at her game? Is that, that's what we are yes, looking at? What I, what so looking she's at. playing very uncompromising chess. So this is King's Indian. And, you know, she's, she is playing very uncompromising chess and... Uh, uh, I believe that um, that you know this will be a, another cracking game. Well, she needs a win with the black pieces, and she is playing against the opponent who ha who is a lower rated than her. Of course, she will try to go for it. Yeah, she will try to win the game. Yeah, yeah agreed. So well, we're gonna see. Uh, I hope we're gonna see some big fighting chess, and let's see what happened in the game of. Uh, Bishop d2 and queen a3 was played. Yeah, he's this is going for it. He is yeah, he's going, going for it. it. And d5. d5, knight e5, knight e5 and, castle. and then castle. And then this is some exchange sack, isn't By it? By the way, knight. I can see in the video, yeah. we have a result on the first board. Sorry for interrupting. Yeah. Can we have the first board uh, to check what is happening there? Looks like they are yeah, signing, a, signing. It has to be a draw. Yeah. That's really surprising for me, isn't it? That Hans Niemann agreed to a draw or... But it's uh, quite understandable because uh, 
Fedosev is sh showing a very beautiful chess, very high quality chess in this tournament. Yeah. And Hans Niemann with the black pieces, I feel like drawing the last round against an opponent who is well not <laughs> higher rated than you, but uh, still has more rating than you and securing your uh, prize place is a, is a very logical uh, approach. Yeah, I think he's played a solid tournament and he's yeah. remained undefeated and yeah. Well, so we can say that uh, congratulations to Fedusev because he's uh, he has his uh, let's say place in top three at least. Yeah, he's got top three, but I think in game number two there's a big fight going on, so it depends on that, isn't it? So if we go to the game number two, uh, I think that is uh, if we look at that uh, particular game. And you can see that this both players are playing here for a win, and uh, with Black, he you know he is trying for a win. And you were talking about this exchange sacrifice. Can we show the viewers? But what happens if Black plays Knight F3, Knight F3, it Bishop will. F3, Bishop A1, Queen A1, Queen A1, and this, this is looking like that typical sacrifice, isn't it? And now. Um, F6 uh, to, to stop bishop at 6 but I don't like the looks of still, it. Still, the black squares are quite uh, weak, we can say. Uh, this is like the typical sacrifice that... Yeah. Well, uh, well, maybe there is a chance he will go for taking it, but how to improve the black's position here? Because white has a game, you know, every time this d5 is uh, dominating in the center, every time see, you try to see play... See, here, here I feel that that uh, uh, I have a feeling here that uh, uh, after f6, rook c1 is coming, and and you know bishop d7, he, there could be rook c7 coming, but uh, but maybe he's okay. Maybe uh, d6 after rook c7. Let's say bishop d7 here. Yeah. Rook c7 and queen d6. Yeah, this this looks like he's okay. So, so, so maybe not rook c7, but after bishop d7, play the thematic move e5. E5, trying to. Yeah, this open this up this this, this is uh, you know. E5 uh, looks good. Yeah, and and white is showing inclination to go into this line, where black has to play very precise to get out of it and. He's got the rook on the open file, and now. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this this is quite dangerous, actually. Yeah, yeah. So even I, I feel rook c1 is not necessary. Let's go e5 straight away. Oops. If sorry. we can. So sorry. Instead of instead of rook c1, why why we why do we need that? Let's go e5 directly. Well, but it depends uh, from the game if they will play it or no, but. Uh, but yeah. the, 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 this is what, you know, if, if black wants to take the risk and uh, try to win the tournament after bishop f3, f6, I'm, I'm even recommending not to go rook c1, just go e5 straight yeah. away. Because this, this looks very, very nice for me. Yeah, after viewers, our viewers were also hoping to see a fighting chess, especially on yeah. the board number one, as us. But it's quite understandable for yeah. both of them. So bishop h6 and e6 is one of the threat, but I don't. I think I, I prefer white. I don't think he should go into this line. This is too risky for him. Yes. But um, you know, what is in his mind? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Uh, but uh, I don't expect to see knight f3 to take this okay, exchange. Okay. So so this is uh, very nicely poised. You're saying, you know, very very well rehearsed systems yeah. and uh, yeah actually on the first board uh, if it was someone else uh, instead of a Hans Niemann we would expect to see like a fast draw but it was Hans Niemann and we were expecting to see some yeah we were expecting him to chess from Hans to to you know he's been an uncompromising player but uh, but suddenly uh, you very correctly spotted that now that first table is empty. The draw means... Uh, also, I, I feel that the draw offer might have come because they have seen this position 
and they feel that white has got something here. So there will be some game happening. Yeah. There's no material lost yet, but uh, I think white's got this two pawns on yeah. e4 and d5. and. But uh, for Fedosev, uh, one of the players is catching him up at least. And well, Narayanan, he's going to be pressing on Pranis, of course. Yeah. So it's going to be a long game and it's going to be very hard for Pranis to win the game with the black pieces. But uh, after his trick with the wins, uh, never say never. And uh, Fedosev, he, he has seven points now. Yeah. On the board number three, it was played a drum. So on the second board, whatever happens, one of the players is catching him up or just... Uh, we hope that, that only if uh, one of the persons win or if this game also ends in a draw, then it's a tie. But uh, what is his performance? Can we tell the viewers? Whose performance? Uh, board number one. Uh, uh, you mean Fedosev? Yeah, Fedosev. What uh, is his performance in this tournament? You mean the tie break? Yeah, the, not not the tie break. I mean the his uh, oh. rating performance. Well, he showed a game of uh, twenty seven ninety two. It's almost yeah, that's a really game. good performance, isn't it? That's uh, huge. That's yeah. huge. He must get at least twenty points from here. He's getting like thirteen, and after this draw, probably like twelve yeah. or yeah, at least ten. So it's not not bad uh, day, you know, in the uh, in his office. You know, yeah. he's he's managed to play. He's remained undefeated. He has played, and there. So he's we have something. He's getting to 2700 club, and uh, yeah. he's not getting there yet. Though I don't know if he played any uh, any tournaments uh, previously, yeah. and in which uh, situation is his rating. But of course, this is a quite successful tournament for him. Yeah, we can say it for sure. So we can congratulate to Fedosev. And uh, let's see what is the situation now. And. Uh, who is leading in the tie breaks before the last round? Uh, in fact, in fact, Xuxian Ju is leading with the tie breaks. So he might be inclined to to accept a draw here and just win the title. Uh, well, the difference is so small that uh, we yeah. can't tell. What yeah, and several things may change yeah, because of, of the results. Yeah, might be changing, and uh, it's not easy to. Because it's a big open tournament and everything can happen. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, I, f I feel that, you know, and he's willing to take risk, you see. White is willing to take risk. And yeah. that's why he's thinking about, you know, what is the right way to... Because his pull hold is quite high. And let's say even if he loses, maybe he has his uh, third place at least for now. Well, it depends from the fourth board, but... Uh, let's go to another game where we think something else Yanan. Let's yeah, Narayan and I don't know, I don't understand this knight b6 move. And knight c3, what he is he planning bishop e6? And you know, I think that must, that's what he must be planning, bishop e6 and uh you know, try to get his pieces out and uh Yes. Yes, bishop e6 is quite possible. Yeah, bishop e6 or queen, I don't know, it's looking like he wants to force the exchange onto d5 square. So the knight yeah. coming to d5, he wants to force it. Of course he will it. take it and uh, yeah. force white to capture it. Yeah, the pawn. and then he has some kind of a game with g6 and, you know. Yeah. That's going to be his dream, but uh, look at the time. Yeah, did Narayanan, play bishop e6. You heard Narayanan it here. Narayanan didn't uh, spend any time. Yeah, yeah, he's in preparation and, uh, and uh, yes. you know. Pranit spent already 30 minutes So what, what I feel here uh, is, my, um, is that white should play queen e2 and then rook c8 just play knight d2. Maybe. Keep the tension, you know, yes. don't release the tension with that. But then it might be followed with... And the then followed by b3, you know, this yeah. is what I'm thinking, release the pressure, but... Yeah, why but shouldn't put the knight on d5? Because then this uh, game will be gone on d6. Yeah. Though Na we don't know yet. We got 92, like we were talking about, you know. <laughs> he's, he's in his prep, and uh, this is a very successful prep. Yeah. I don't, I'm wondering when did he have time to prepare, you know. He was the last one to finish the game uh, yesterday. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, incredible. And now he's in his prep. Early round. I don't know, probably he finished like 10, 10.30. Yeah, and 10.30, yeah. After 12 hours, he had his game and yeah. he had to have his dinner, he had to sleep, 
when did he prepare like this? Yeah. This is my question. You didn't see him in the breakfast today. I saw him in the elevator. Oh, you saw him today? In the elevator, yes, he was coming. In the elevator, but I don't know whether he, he popped into breakfast. But I think that, uh, you know, he's a very, uh, very, very quiet character, doesn't speak yes. much. Yes. Uh, you know, I've spoken to him only a couple of times in this tournament, doesn't speak much and and uh, he's one of the uh, really excellent chess players and there. So can we go to this Bimbisara game to see what Let's is happening? There. What is, is there any, any request from the viewers, any particular game viewers, please let us know. But otherwise we would like to go and see that Bimbisara game, what's happening. Well, nothing so, changed uh, since the last time we checked it. Yeah, I think so. This is turning out to be a good battle. Yes, okay, and okay. Uh, shall we check the game of... Uh, well, let's check what is happening on the board number uh, five. Artemiev against... Oof, we have some Looks interesting Looks very, very... Chen. Chess here, knight c3 is the English opening. The captures, the bishop gives up for... Uh, yeah, but that looks really odd, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, F4. F4, F4 but so what? I mean... The viewers are really but, but that bishop is very, very strong. I'm, I'm surprised by his decision. We have a request uh, from Ivan to check Adiban's game. Okay, we were, we're quite happy to, to go Adivan. and see. We are always happy to check Adiban's games. He, he won a nice game yesterday. Very and. Nice game. With and rook d7, sacrifice. Yeah, okay, let's go through this game very quickly for the benefit. Okay, Karakon defense. Uh, and, you know, this is pano Batwinik attack. Yes. And, yes, bishop g4. Yeah, he's going into this very forced line. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really surprised that, yes. uh, you know. So, uh, what is happening here? I mean, uh, queen yeah. b3 was forced. Yeah, queen b3 is forced. Otherwise, yeah, you know, after e6, black's position is better. But this is the main line. And knight b6 and then d5. Uh, I've seen this line quite a bit. d5 yeah. was played. Knight d4. Yeah. Bishop b5. If I check, knight d7, queen a4. This knight is what b5. being played? Uh, yes, knight b5, queen b5, and g6. And yeah. what is happening now? White has double pawns. Yeah. And he is allowing queen b7. Yes. But what could be the motivation after queen b7? After queen b7 is that white's king, where are you taking this king later? Yeah. yeah. To the short side with this pawn structure, it's, it's not going to be the best idea. And after capturing, let's say, queen b7, uh, if black plays bishop g7, which... Yeah, I think, I think you, you exposed yourself yeah. in both flanks. <laughs> and uh, you cannot move this bishop now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a rook b8 is coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This so is... While what White will do with this king in the center? Yeah. I think I think that that after g6, uh, you know, possibly he will play bishop g5 with the idea of castling long, but then that's also very risky in my opinion. Yes. And um, so what is White's plan? Here. How to develop the pieces? Yeah. It's a good question. Maybe d6 has to be played to create some game, like uh, captures knight d5. Hard to say, hard to say. Yeah, yeah, it's not easy, isn't it? <laughs> okay, because... It's never if it, easy. It's never I have easy. a plan, um, I have a plan, Maria. Don't take b7, okay? Just play quite move like b d2. Okay, I will play here. I'm, I'm just saying, seven. and then castle long. Well, you're ready to go for this, huh? Yeah, um, I was thinking I can go king b1, rook c1. This is what I thought as a plan. But black has got a6. a6, b5. Yeah, a6, queen b3. And then, you know, knight, knight c5. c5. Yeah, this, this is looking not very yeah, yeah. pleasant at all. No, I think white, uh, white cannot play very slowly here. I yeah. think d6 has to be played. Maybe bishop f4, sorry, maybe bishop f4 instead of d6, maybe bishop f4 with the threat of queen b7. Maybe bishop f4 looks nice. And if you go bishop g7, I, I okay, believe queen, queen b7. b7 is a possibility. Because rook b8 is stopped now, but yeah. um, what happens after? Just queen castle. a5 uh, or castle first, yeah. 
Castle, I think he might play castles. I don't know whether it is, but but castles and followed by rook f d one or something. But this is quite risky, I would say. You know, Adipan is quite very well prepared, and uh, I don't think taking the b pawn is the right attitude. So yeah. he, he should play bishop f four, and then possibly castle king side with rook f e one. But then that will have long time repercussions of. Your, your this thing being very weak and interestingly if you see the time so black has played fairly quickly and uh, white is the one now thinking what to do where to put the bishop is the first question where to, put where the to castle, where to castle? <laughs> that's the main question uh, well this is going to be a very interesting game and uh, Adiban we can say after yesterday's game probably he recovered he's back, he's, bit. back. he's back after blundering uh, checkmate in one move and uh, yeah, let's check what is happening on the second board because we hope to see a fighting chess here. Castle was played. Yeah. Castle was played, yeah. and Black is still thinking. Do you Black think is he's uh, thinking of uh, taking the exchange? I think I think so, but you know, but because but then this there might be his chance actually. Yeah, if if he wants to play for a win, he will take on f3, but he can he doesn't need to do this straight away, so he can play moves like bd7. You know, just develop with the idea of bishop a4. So what is white going to do here? Yeah. You know, I, I think typical Grunfield plays to get the pieces out. But I like bd7. Can we show yeah. our viewers? Uh, you know, this Check this is you know, bishop d7 because I'm planning bishop a4. Well, possible. Can I just play rook b1 somewhere, or maybe you will create a passed pawn? No, I'm not going to touch that pawn. But I would, if you go rook c1, I go rook up c8. And, you know, I'm getting everything that I need. I'm getting out of black in the Grunfield side. I got my rooks to the open file. I, I would be very happy with this position. So bishop d7. So this looks like, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, for bishop d7, maybe knight e5, bishop e5, bishop h6. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This this looks... Uh, yeah. Very, so bishop d7, I think, but is the But he has a choice. Uh, he's thinking. He's thinking. After castle, he's thinking what to do, how to go out, uh, and how should, to play. Should he play for a win? Should he yeah, because, play uh, solid? Because, by the way, let me just show you something very fast. Knight f3, bishop f3. I capture uh, bishop a1, queen a1, f6, and you are offering e5 here, but black might have bishop h3. Just grabbing another pawn. Ah, okay, that won't work. Okay. Yeah. So maybe not e5, but has to go bishop. Uh, has to go rook b1 first. Then. After rook c1. No, no not rook, rook c1. Rook b1. Yeah. I was so thinking. So bishop h3, rook c1. Uh, bishop h3 is not possible because rook yeah. c1. But. No, but rook c1 okay, I don't like one. because Why? rook b1 is my preferred choice because then I want you to play b6, where I might play rook b3, kick you out, and go for e5. Like rook c1. <laughs> okay, rook c1. But okay, rook b1 is just stopping the bishop from developing. Yeah. But I think that, you know, he should be thinking that the other game ended in a draw. Why to, why to go for this? But it's a good opportunity for both of the players uh, to fight for sharing. Uh, well, Suk Sanju, in case of winning, is just winning uh, the tournament without any sharing. Yeah, if he wins, of course. Solely uh, winner. Yeah. And if Matlako wins the game, he's just catching up with the first place. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Xiu Xianzhu is taking a lot of time here, but he's trying to make a decision. This might be a critical moment in a game. You have a choice to capture exchange, and it's not losing, it's just leading to some complicated game. You have a choice just to keep the pressure in the center, uh, and play against this d5 pawn to go out with your pieces normally but then your queen is on a3 and you don't know what to do with it yet for now is it it's safe but what's going to happen later yeah i think i think uh, i i suspect he will go take that risk here yeah unless he's thinking about that so well of course what's, what's happening in uh, is there any other moves in any other thing and uh, you know uh, can we also say that this morning game has, I feel that, that there's like a relative calm. People are taking their time, you know, they've managed to arrive on time. 
They managed to arrive on time. Some of them are still waking up. Yeah, waking up. <laughs> it's it's normal. It yeah. depends from the. Uh, it's so individual. Some people are so fresh in the morning, and some people are just like uh, not feeling ready, because usually the games were played at 5 p.m. and now they have to fight at 10 a.m., which is a seven hours difference between their normal playing time and uh, and today's round, the last round. But I think all the games are sizing up nicely now. Yes. And then if we do a quick check and then see whether... Let's check the game of Narayanan. To see yeah, Narayanan. Oh, he okay. Did, uh, we we did predict B3. Yeah. He did 92, B3. In B3. And then now I think he's just going to drop Bishop C2. Well, I, no, I, I think. Knight C5, just Bishop C2. Still putting the pressure on D6 pawn. Yeah, keeping not the pressure. Not the pressure, but uh, at least not letting this pawn to go out. And yeah. what is White saying here? White is saying that we're going to play a long game. And I will yeah, always Bishop C2 played. Yeah, Bishop C2 was very natural. Uh, White is saying that we're going to just keep the pressure on D6 pawn. You always have to care about it. You can never push D5. And uh, let's play. <coughs> maybe some <coughs> ideas like uh, Rook E1, Knight F1, Rook Knight E3. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah, that later. also is there. Maybe A4, A5. It yeah. depends from White if he's going to take this risk or not. But uh, Black used a lot of time. He's yeah. thinking a lot. And White... Narayanan, he just used like four minutes and maybe this is just for writing the moves and doing <laughs> the moves. And that is, is the other opponent is spending a lot of time yeah. because he's in a difficult situation, you know. And uh, f5 is something should not be played because uh, after f5... Let's check it out. I think, I think it's just going to be f3, isn't it? White, is, the white will try to keep the tension in the center, yeah. of course. This e4 pawn is a very important pawn for the white yet. And then he will start maneuvering with the knights at some point. But uh, black will shall try to create some games. Otherwise... Uh, yeah, some bishop g5 is coming anyway. We have a recommendation from the chat, Suyarov. Let's yeah. see what is happening there. His king is in trouble. Okay, let's check out what happened in this game. Oof. Okay, thank you for the suggestion. Looks like nice that's a cracker of a game. So this is the game played between... This is between uh, Steny yeah. and Suyarov. Okay, so this is that French gambit. Okay, so castle, yeah, this all thematic play. Yes. Yeah, very thematic play here. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of theory has been said and... Uh, yeah, this knight b3, I, yeah. I've, I've seen a lot about, recently seen that this is quite queenie to and rook d1, and then now... Bishop d6, knight yeah, d4, knight d4, rook d4, rook d4. yeah. The this rook is, is entering into the game. Yeah, so castles, and now bishop d3, everything is focused okay. on that. where was the sacrifice? And, and rook h4, for threatening bishop takes h6, I and think. And e5 and bishop h6, here is the sacrifice. Yeah, this is... Uh, what happens if he doesn't take? I'm just thinking... Well, what happens is that you lose a pawn. But uh, I don't have e4, uh, because I was thinking, before I accept, should I play e4? Uh, then you, you take with the queen. Yeah, no, I understand, I understand, no. No, he has to take first, he has okay. To take. I mean, uh, losing a pawn and just playing with the h file open, it's not going to last long. Yeah. G takes on h6, queen d2 to, is oh, played. Oh, queen at 6 is coming. And after it? knight g4, white is just capturing the pawn on h6. Yeah, this is big attack, uh, isn't let's it? Let's just check very quickly. If uh, black captures, white will capture. Yeah, f5. With the threat of a queen h7, and after f5, it's it will be just followed by... Uh, uh, Probably knight g5. I, I think knight g5. Or just b3 maybe. Preparing bishop c4. Yeah, but but this is, uh, yeah, bishop on d6 hanging. That yes. is hanging. Everything this is hanging. Is trouble. Okay, yeah. so after, uh, well, after uh, rook h6, black was scared to capture it. Bishop e7 uh, was played. And h3, knight h6 Four takes. Six. And like, queen g6. I, I see like resemblance of tall here, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's very tall big, big, big resemblance of tall. And, uh, Wait, okay. they are repeating the moves. Are they? Yes, they are. But maybe b3 now. I mean, uh, what, what is the problem with b3 if white wants to play for maybe it? Maybe b3 is uh, 
Rook F6. Uh, no, there's no Rook I F6. I will still give my check and. Uh, yeah, B3 played in the game. B3 was played in the game. Oh, very nice, very nice. Uh, very nice. And there's no defense for Bishop C4 Bishop now. Bishop C4 is coming. What what shall Black play? How to stop this? I think you have to go Queen D6 and then Still Bishop C4, Rook F7. But I don't uh, like it. There's Queen D6, Bishop D6, Knight G5. There's so many attacks coming up. So this looks like uh, one of the best games, isn't it? So it looks like... It's very beautiful. Yeah, very beautifully played uh, by Play White. like Tal. Yes, yeah, okay. sacrifice Bishop Modern D6 Tal. And, no, uh, not the old Tal, but the modern Tal, you know. And... Um, it will be difficult to be an old Tal for anyone. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, b uh, 3 and Bishop C4 is just coming and what to do? Interesting. We have another suggestion. Uh, Divya's game. I think Divya... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So we'll Divya? come back to this. This looks very we'll exciting. We'll come back after b3. We don't see anything happening after bishop yeah. c4 is a real threat. And why didn't even spend any time? This now what about rook f6? No, 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 rook f6. Rook I have f6, bishop c4 check. Queen c4 check, then you have queen g5 check. Okay, yeah. so... Just yeah. win the queen. Uh, well, after b3, uh, black is in a big trouble. Is, do you think this is just a successful preparation? Yeah, I think so. Must be. Because uh, looks I, like... I would definitely be interested in talking to them. So maybe when the game is over, one of us can go and grab them. And, you know, yeah. it, it would be nice to have the, the player demonstrating his game and his of thoughts. Course. That's what we used to, you know, it would be interesting for the readers. So we're going to Divya's game. Who is Divya? Divya Deshmukh Divya play? is playing against Raja Ritvik, another okay. Indian Grandmaster. And it was played uh, Nydorf. Nydorf, yeah. Okay, we'll come back to Adiban's game. Let's just very quickly check this game, what is yeah. happening here. And uh, thank you for the request. You know, we will try to look into all the requests and... Uh, so, you know, I mean... Uh, I get, I, Bishop b6 is a threat, b5. Yeah. Bishop b6, queen c8. Captures, captures. Yeah. And what is this? Rook e1, knight d7. Yeah. And uh, c3. Yeah, I think, I, 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 I think here the bishop is going to come to c4 at the right time. But at the moment, yeah. I think black has got uh, so enough counterplay. I want to check what she did yesterday. She did a draw. Okay. Yeah. Quickly go to Adiban's game to... Let's go to Adiban's game because... Uh, so maybe something exciting happening there and... Uh, okay. Well, 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 we have some moves after G6, D6 was played. D6 was played, you know, and, and I think uh, the point of D6 is that he can't allow Knight D5. D6 is a very important move. Yeah, E6. Because uh, white cannot play slowly. Yeah, E6 played, Bishop G5. Queen b6. And uh, now white is thinking. Yeah, I think I think the point of this, what I'm, what I feel is that if queen takes b6, uh, knight takes b6, and then knight e4 looks very, very, uh, you know, very, very nice. But but this is just end game and. Uh, f5. F5 and uh, black has an advantage. Yeah, well, f5, I knight don't... Knight d5, uh, the chat is uh, offering knight d5, wow, wow, okay, okay, wow, queen b6 was a blunder by Adiban, there is this beautiful tactical move, knight d5. And uh, and what are they suggesting for queen takes d6, is it knight f6 check? And knight f6, knight d7, just... Uh, <sighs> Yes, wow. What a move, knight d5. Knight d5, this would be what a beautiful move if he finds it. Yeah. He will remember this game forever. Yeah, I think I think knight d5 is... Uh, you wow. know, the, I, I think today we are coming across a lot of, uh, you know, highly charged games today. Wow. I mean, if knight d5 will be played, then uh, it's just going to be a... Very beautiful game. We have so many beautiful games happening. So today. We'll Maybe not on the first uh, board and third board, but yeah. uh, the rest of the games are just fire. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is like, oh no, this is difficult, isn't it?
But uh, I wonder how much time Adiban spent on Queen P6. Oh, uh, and did he have I, I have a feeling. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I will lose the exchange. You know, I mean. Did he have any other move here to play? No, I don't, I don't think he has any other move. Maybe. And uh, you know, this would be quite difficult. So. F6. Well, F6 looks very. Wow. Uh, well done to that viewer who said Knight D5. You know, before we were even looking at the position, and there's knight d5 straight and we're away. We're like, uh, white has a problem, white has a problem, and suddenly this tactical opportunity yeah. for the white. Yeah. And he's taking his time, maybe yeah. he's calculating. Maybe he's calculating, yeah. But it's uh, he can spot this move, uh, we can say it. And then there's no defense, you know, after knight d5, uh, everything is crushing. Yeah, after knight d5, it's going to be a game over. Oh my god. Yeah, this was not Adiban's tournament, we can say. It's such a... So many things happened. Yeah, this knight d5 is a killer. Well done. It's not played yet, but uh, yes, even well done. This, this is beautiful. Yeah. This is a... Oh, he played knight d5. Oh, no. He played knight d5. <coughs> yeah. A masterpiece. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. There it is on the board, knight d5 and Adiban. I wish we could see his video right now to see what is happening. I would like to see his reaction and uh, beautiful. I think we should also try to catch one of the players after their games to, well, to you know. We will try, but uh, it's not, uh, yeah. we we'll see if they are available to at least uh, talk to us. Yeah. And then we could then convey to the viewers, you know. Ah, this is knight d5. This is nice. This is beautiful. I, I, I think this is uh, the second shock for him, isn't it? I think so. I think so. He had one shock with the when he blundered the checkmate in one move, and now he blundered knight d5. But knight d5 is so beautiful. Out of nowhere, white pieces that were like king in so, the so center. So what are we saying now? Ed5 is queen e2 check, is it? Ed5 is queen e2 check. Uh, okay. And but after knight e5, white just captures queen e5. Yeah. And after, oh sorry, after, after king d7, I think white can just take the rook. Queen h8. Yeah, and it's going to be a game over. And let's check. Uh, so is, is that over or is there something like rook e8 check? Well, king king just will hide, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook e8 check and uh, yeah. bishop... Uh, yeah, he's, no, got, nothing. he's a, got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. It's a full rook. Knight d5 and Adiban will think for a while, trying to find some. Yeah. Moves, but uh, very well done. Thank you uh, for noticing this. This is very beautiful. This is a puzzle. It's a big that, shock, isn't it? Even that, for uh, can find the place in the books. Yeah, I'm this sure. Knight d5 <coughs> uh, can be published in the books. So, so what well. went wrong in this one? I mean, is it? Uh, I think queen b6 was wrong. Queen b6, need yeah, black has to but f6 move, yeah. has to be played, isn't it? f6, uh, well, f6 is just uh, making it, maybe a6 is the move here. Maybe a6 is the move, and uh, let's say bishop d8 uh, captures, and of course this is only with this uh, d6 weak pawn. But uh, I can put my bishop on c7 now. Well, I mean, I will play uh, c5 maybe. No, uh, b5 is hanging, so. Maybe four. B4, yeah. And then knight e4, yeah. I want to kind of paralyze yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. But but this is... This, this is, is not losing. Uh, this is not losing. It's a, it's a big game and... Uh, yeah. I, I feel like with this pawn structure, white cannot have an yeah, advantage yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, shall we go to the second board to see what happened yes, there, if we have any whatever. development? No. No? No moves. No, no, he's sleeping. Xiu Xianju is sleeping. Yeah. I'm trying to see in the video if... Uh, no, I think he's yeah. uh, there's. Uh, I think it might we might. Uh, How much time he already spent on uh, on this position? He's uh, forty minutes, thirty yeah. minutes. Should we take a short break to go and see what's exciting yes, happening, and yes, then we, we can, can come do back? It. Uh, uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back very soon. Let's see what happened to Xiu Xianju and uh, yeah. when he's waking up to yeah. the move. Keep keep the comments coming back. Keep the comments coming, and don't you know, go anywhere. Yes, we had uh, draws on the first and the third boards, uh, but uh, this knight defies. Uh, so many must be like a shock, isn't here. it? 
uh, I think Adibani is shocked. I want to see his reaction. So okay. we'll go there, check everything, and be back to you with the news. Don't go anywhere. You're following the final round of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival, and today we're going to know who's, who is the winner of the 29th Abu Dhabi Festival. Yeah. See you.
Welcome back everyone to the final round of the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023. And here we are back from the plank hall and you know, uh, I went to see Adiban's face. Uh, we, can, we can start with Adiban's game probably. Xiu uh, finally did a move. And I saw his face and his face was like, how did this happen? Yeah, it looks like a big shock, yeah. but... Uh, one more time, just in case of queen b5, there is a beautiful checkmate, knight yeah. c7. So, while black captured on d5... Queen e2 check. Queen e2 check, knight e5, queen e5, king d7, and queen h8, rook e8, and king f1. And we got yeah. to the position that we're thinking <coughs> that they will get to. But this, this is whole rook up, isn't it? This is a whole rook. It's and not an I don't see anything for him. And there is no counterplay. There's nothing. It's yeah. just, uh, you know, uh, even I was thinking that it's queen f5 check picking up the bishop, but no, no. he doesn't have that. Yeah. And b2 is also defended, so I have a I have a feeling here that, uh, you know, that, that white holds all the trump here. Yeah. So we had one more move, d4, which is, I d4 think... D4 was played, but of course, uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Adivan is just trying with queen b5 to take the bishop, but... Yeah. Yeah. So queen f6 looks pretty, pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think there are several moves that are just not <coughs> blunder queen b5 and white is winning. Well, shall we go to the board number two, uh, where what was played is that, in fact, Xiu Xianju decided to capture the knight, but he didn't take the exchange, he just played a5. Yeah, uh, w what I feel here is that, you know, that white can't be leaving this rook dangling for a, yeah. for a long time. And uh, I believe that... Uh, uh, something like queen c1 is what I'm expecting with the idea of queen c1, rook c1, but maybe... So what's what's the reply for queen c1 now? Bishop b2? Bishop b2, yeah. And then... Uh, well, I'm not going to exchange the queens because this queen is here yeah. to help create a passed pawn. Yeah, and then bishop a1... A with, with, with the queen on c7, I think he's got queen d6. So queen c1 is not the move. He played rook one Yeah, he played rook one and you still offering the free, yeah, free still change. offering a1 for free. But the next move is e5. Yeah, he's, he's planning e5, and uh, now if he takes the gauntlet and goes bishop takes a1, queen takes a1, yeah, and now f6 has to be played, and I, I believe bishop h6 first, uh, and then when the rook goes to d8, now e5. This is quite quite... Uh, tricky for black to defend this. Every piece of white is uh, coming out into play and uh, you know this won't be easy. Yeah. Well this looks dangerous for black we can say definitely so, there is yeah. a big competition. So may, may, maybe he, he has to you know. He played <coughs> b5. He stopped the move e5 very very logical and he started playing faster because he understood that he spent a lot of time in the previous moves and uh, especially on the move knight f3, bishop f3, a5 because uh, it was a critical moment of a game and he had many choices just to keep the knights or take the exchange or as he played like exchange the knights and try to create a passed pawn because uh, the bishop is attacking the rook but the rook is not moving anywhere because a2 no. will be always hanging. So this was his idea and they are going for it. This is what matters. Yeah, what I feel here is that he will play rook e3 to kick the queen out. And when the queen draws back somewhere, then maybe yeah. maybe he's okay. But rook e3 now, kick, kick that queen out. Uh, and yep. Uh, By the way, our chat is asking about uh, Adiban's uh, blunder of a checkmate in one. Yes, it was a very painful for him. Yes, uh, it was a painful loss. He played a very nice game. Yeah. A very brilliant game and he got a winning position and I think today something went he wrong. He blundered the checkmate in one move and also today's game, I mean Queen B six and he blundered knight d five. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely not his tournament. So any more say. moves with uh, with Adiban because they 
<laughs> the viewers soon, seem right? to be focused on this game. Rookie three looks strong. Well, let's finish with this game. And yeah, rookie three looks there. quite good, isn't it? Yeah. And I believe queen b2. I'm just thinking queen b2. Rookie rook three, three, queen b2. b2. And then... And then uh, the rook has to move. And I'll yeah, rook has to move. And I don't... I don't uh, you know, I, I, I don't envy that this, this queen b2 is there for rook e3. Yeah. So maybe not even rook e3. Yeah. We have another chat, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, bishop e5, good move, isn't it? Bishop e5 is a very good and, move. And Just stopping e5 and... Uh, yeah, and, and I, he was thinking for a long time. I think he was looking at how to handle this position. Mm -hmm. And he almost spent like a good 30 minutes. Uh, he almost spent like 30 minutes in this position. Yeah. As, uh, yeah. But the, you're allowed to do this when you have a critical moment. Yeah, and he is playing for the win. It's crystal clear, isn't it's, it? Uh, it's clear that he is trying to win this game. Yeah. The other question is he will manage to or no, but uh, it's clear that he's trying to get this game. And, uh, well, he's, uh, he's, uh, I think he played very practically. Uh, very well because exchange the knights tries to create a passed pawn a5 doesn't touch the rook uh, blocks e5 and uh, b5 is coming now i mean my next move is i'll try to play b5 before capture the rook a4 b3 try to create a yeah. passed pawn and uh, what's going to happen next yeah and i don't think uh, there is any more like uh I'm just thinking that bishop c1, I don't know whether undeveloping is the right yeah. thing. Bishop c1, what happens is it, the, I want to kick the queen so I can play rook b1 with, with some thing. This is what well, I'm thinking. Bishop c1, kick that queen out. Can I just play like... At least I get my pieces developed and, you know, yeah. I feel that this is okay for me. Maybe just uh, queen d6, rook b1. Uh, I, I cannot play bishop b7 yet, trying to play b5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my main idea. Uh, you know, this, this, this bishop c1 looks quite, quite like nice, queen isn't d6, it? Queen d6, right? rook b1. So I think, I think here what we can see is also that there is some, some ways he could, he could play a4, and this you know he could, is stuck on C8 and yeah he, he could he could retreat the bishop to e2 yeah. and then you know he, he it's all about getting f4 at the right time yes. so this looks quite nice actually bishop c1 kick the queen out rook b1 nothing at risk you still have a solid position and b7 is hanging and you know this looks pretty it does it does uh, but uh, what what if i just play like rook b8 or b6 maybe yeah, I, I don't know, b6, I think I have bishop e3 as well. And then Adiban that, that resigned. Huh? Adiban resigned. Adiban resigned. So let's go quickly to c. Yeah. So we well done to the game. viewer who spotted that knight d5. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, after knight d5, this uh, this game can, yeah. this tactics, let's so go So what again. move was played? Uh, queen f6, that's what yeah. we said. Queen b5, king g2, queen d5, rook e1, and, and then... just resigned. But uh, one more time, I feel like this position can find its very good spot in the tactical books. Yeah. And uh, I feel like this knight d5 move is just brilliant. And uh, Yeah, this is moment. like, uh, you know, picture, yeah. you know, you can take... Uh, if they say a picture paints a thousand words, this picture paints so much in chess, isn't it? <laughs> what a beautiful move. Wow. Spotted. Really wow. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, it just destroys. The, there's not even rook c8, isn't it? No, because... The Was rook c8 hanging. the best bet? The queen is hanging. Queen is hanging as well. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just nothing is like working. a bomb, even bombshell, like you know? Rook c8, I, I don't just, have to take just, the queen. Uh, Open up the position with knight d5 yeah. and, uh, you know, and... After rook c8, there is knight f6, uh, king also, queen d7, check. Have you heard that the players who are from China, they're very strong tactically? Of course. Yeah. I faced a lot of Chinese players in my life and... Uh, yeah, they're really strong in tactics. I so, even uh, faced uh, Zhu and Jun, you know, Lei Tingzhe and... I remember I, I played uh, against Lei Tingzhe. Uh, she was playing in the women candidates turn in the match in the women world championship match and 
well, I played many players in my life. Yeah. And I faced a lot of, uh, uh, especially like uh, female players. And when I was playing against her, it was a blitz game. She mm. was calculating everything like a machine and she was yeah. spotting all the tactics on the chessboard. And then I left the game and I was, I was like, okay, what just happened? And I, I don't think I ever had this feeling yeah. in my life before because after that blitz game, yeah. I was like, what just happened in the game? <laughs> Uh, apparently, a friend of mine who brought me some books in Chinese, uh, I've looked at the material, it's quite very tactical. Everything is about highly calculating and yes. getting that mind tuned. Yes. So this is a, a good win. Does it, does it give anything for the player? Is he, uh, is he, is he already a grandmaster? I can check it out to see if something is changing so that, the, I think that game. Adiban had... Um, yeah. well, there is an IM and he must have made a GM norm. Surely, yes. let's, let's... I don't think he's making a GM norm. What, what's his performance? Oh, it's uh, 2470, so he's not making a GM norm, but he is gaining some... Gaining relief. some points, okay. Yeah. So this was a good uh, win for him. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and, uh, and Bishop C1 played in the game. Well Bishop done. C1 was I think played. we are guessing everything. You know, we're getting most of it right, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, of course. It's, it's yeah. a good feeling when you're guessing the Grandmaster's yeah. moves. Uh, Bishop C1 was played. Yeah. And now, uh, Xiu Xanjo has to make a decision. Yeah. The, Queen D6. The Queen D6 is going to be played, I feel like. But there is a chance, by the way, maybe after Queen D6, like Rook B1, can I try to play something like F5 or it's just too active? I, I would say too risky, isn't it? After yeah, F5. It's too risky. Bishop because Bishop, uh, after F5, I can just go Bishop E3 with the idea of Rook B6, B6 coming up. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. But oh. uh, we're, we're seeing some fighting chess and I'm loving it. Okay. And I'm sure our viewers are also enjoying to see this. Let's check Narayanan's games because game. Yeah, because Narayanan's game. Uh, we did say F3, but he. F5 was played. Yeah, he, by the yeah, way. F5 was played, F5 and he played. didn't. He he just opted out for the square E4. If we can highlight for the viewers, after everything got chopped, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's still saying that D5 is is your weakness, but um, but uh, you know, I mean. I think he's playing very practically here. I, I feel that he, he took on f5, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he took on f5. We were Bishop thinking about the move like f3, not to let this e4. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know whether you know it's he likes this, this, but he likes this. And after the bishops are swapped, and then he played queen e2, and uh, so queen e2. Why can't uh, d5 was not possible, was it? What was the problem with d5? Maybe just queen d3. D5 is queen D3. Yeah. Then I have E4. But what's the problem with D5? Is, yeah. is it? Uh, maybe I can just start with the Rook F5 and ah, it was Knight C5. Uh, so you're offering to play yeah, D5. Yeah, this, this is. I this can take take and uh, Queen C4. Yeah, then Queen C4. Oh no. Yeah. And uh, the Knight is just. Yeah. It's not in its best. Well, Knight E6 was played. Uh, queen D3. But do you do you have a feeling that Black is doing much better now than before? Well, yeah, I mean, but there is, there is this perennial before. problem, you know. See, I think that he, um, I, I, I kind of visualize, can we highlight e4 for the viewers? That's going to be a key square, e4 and d5. The and, and, you know, what's black got in return for that? White has got these two lovely squares. And, uh, you know, all, all is needed for him is to put his bishop in a good square. There will be some trouble. There might be some trouble happening there. And uh, you could see uh, another side of Narayan, and he's playing very positional here. Yep. By the way, by the uh, results that we are having now, uh, still Xiuk Sanju has a uh, higher uh, tie break. Yeah. Because it's updated live, and uh, he has a. So higher maybe he will offer a draw, or maybe White is playing for a win. Well, White feels maybe that. Maybe White is playing for a win because yeah. a win. Is going After to Bishop give a C1 chance. and Rook B1, his pieces are very nicely placed, and you know. Because the, after, uh, if Matlakov manages to win this game, he's just catching up uh, Fedosev, and uh, shares the first place. Yeah. So it's going to be a very interesting game. Yeah.
I think the dynamism changed here, you know. There was the sack available for Black yeah. and then Black played A5. And then after Rook E1, it was still in Queen cars, D6 yeah, Queen D6 played and we expect Rook B1 now. And uh, and I'm a bit worried for Black because uh, the B5 square is a bit weak. Bishop is not moving from C8. Yeah. So it's a key point that we have to mm -hmm. mark. And uh, yeah, well, I think Rook B1 is going to be played though. Yeah, I think it will be played Rook yeah. B1. Well, is there anything else happening here? Artemia against, uh, okay. So F4, after F4 it followed with D5. Yeah. Knight F3 and... Uh, takes, takes, takes. Oh, counter take. Have, uh, that is unexpected, isn't we it? We have a Burj Khalifa now here. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I mean, why, why does he have to do that? You know, what was wrong? What, what, what did he felt wrong to change the structure so yeah. drastically? And, and, you know, when even DC4 surprised me uh, completely. But I think maybe... Yeah, maybe Black doesn't need to exchange this. But, okay, he just maybe liked the idea of uh, having four pawns on the same line. Yeah, and then is, did he swap the queen? Yeah, he did. I, I, think, I think he's just saying that I got this key squares on E4. And uh, after king c2, bishop a6, king d3, knight d6, and then bishop c5, knight, knight c4. c4. King c2 and and, and uh, I kind of don't, don't uh, you know, don't see, you know, this is making, you know, but um, what, what is, uh, so e2 is under attack. It's, that's we have his, to mention that Artemiev is so much down in uh, time. Uh, he's down to 28 yeah. minutes now. But of course, I mean, with this uh, pawn structure, where all the black squares are free, the bishop is dominating the game. Yeah, I think that... Uh, white, uh, white probably has a little advantage. But and he, he, I don't know if he will try to push or no, because uh, basically, I mean, the time trouble at some point will make it... Uh, yeah. Make it be seen. Well, we have this end game. Let ch shall we check the game between uh, yeah. Kobalia and Murzin? Yeah, this is uh, yeah. again very solid play by both grandmasters. And and I was, uh, you know, if we can show the viewers the opening, he played so quiet. You know, I mean, I mean th this this opening that that e4, e5, knight f3, yeah, g3. G3, yeah. Yeah, it's just saying I just want to play some chess today. <laughs> <laughs> And both uh, of them are, are playing, yeah. are fighting. Yeah, bishop c3 and, uh, well. Mm -hmm. I don't like, uh, I think he's just going into some end game, probably. Yeah, this, this is looking... It's uh, for structure, e5 pawn against d4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I feel that black has to play a5 to secure the b4 yeah. for some, some reason. And, you know, this, this this looks quite thing. And white is not afraid of bishop into c4 because after dc4, the bishop pair will come mm -hmm. alive. So this is quite, uh, you know, nice. Yeah. So any suggestion, keep it coming. Yeah, from uh, our viewers, view. if you have any suggestion or a preferred game that you would like to check out, just let us yeah, know and we're going to go through through it. Shall we go to this uh, game that uh, Divya Deshmukh, that's what we, that was one of the requests, wasn't it? Yeah, Divya Deshmukh and uh, big, big difference in that and uh, a lot of moves has been played after uh, after you know, she's she's played this quite nice, you know, just pieces on natural square, and then bishop d3, oh, it's a game, and uh, then Manaf of Vugar against Divya. In which round it was played? Yeah, I, I believe this exchange yeah, this favors so. black. Yeah, this particular exchange favors favors black quite a bit because. And, and 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 then he managed to play rook b8 and then ah rook takes b4 oh, okay rook d1 was well, what a is this what what, what but why oh, you, how, no. how she blundered this yeah 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 
well in two wow okay okay this was unexpected this was just a blunder rook d1 was a blunder yeah you know i don't expect that kind of a mistake yeah, from yeah. a player of it's, it's, it's you know something like something didn't click i think this maybe it's the morning round <laughs> it is the morning round <laughs> maybe it is the morning round because okay this yeah. is a very so so are we saying that black is now very comfortable you know he he i think he's now has to coordinate his piece as well isn't it but maybe she just decided to go for this to take some pawns and try to push a, a on a file and uh, b file yeah i'm still not sure about it but uh, Everything so, is possible. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of thinking here bishop g4 straight away. Bishop g4. Bishop g4 is what I'm thinking, but yeah, also... I play h3? Yeah, I think bishop f3, you have queen d7. Queen no, no, yeah, h3, bishop f3, and then... No, I have to take, but then there is queen f5. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe yeah. not give the bishop, but maybe play like moves like knight b6, hit the queen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, instead of bishop g4, knight b6. This is this looks very nice because and then queen goes to b4. He's got bishop c4 and all, and putting that thing. So maybe he has to play knight b6, not That's bishop right. g4. Yeah. Okay, so queen a4. We are saying yeah. knight b6. Knight b6. Where is that queen going? Maybe black, queen uh, a7, queen a7. I feel like black can do whatever they want here. That's yeah, but there is queen a7. Maybe that's what is a bit queen worried a7, about. Just, let's say, okay, queen b7. Yeah. Or rook b7. Rook b7 might be even winning a queen. Well, it doesn't, but uh, you know. Uh, what, what I mean is that uh, in this position, the black's advantage is so big because of these two bishops against rook that uh, black can just play whatever they want. I mean, also, this deep one at some point we will... Yeah, they will do this one. one, yeah. It's not easy. I, I think I, uh, also that I feel that... Bishop g4 is possible, as you yeah, mentioned. Yeah, bishop g4 is possible. Even after or or knight, even the cool knight of 6 knight d5, knight yeah. f4, you know. Yeah, well, Vega is not going doing well. So, uh, shall we go to that Vipula game that we were, we were looking at minutes ago, where whether after f5 is Narayanan just making very steady progress there after queen d3 no moves isn't it rook f7 knight e4 and knight yeah. d4 yeah no but I black is uh, somehow black freed his pieces maybe bishop e3 is possible but knight f5 i don't think black has the same big problems as before yeah this looks uh the knight on e4 is pretty strong, isn't it, here? Yeah. It is, but um, knight on d4 is also strong. Let's see if we have any other uh, results. No, it looks like no. It's just uh, last uh, round. Board, uh, board on, on uh, board 10 finished in a draw also. I think they got six points each. Well, it was a fast draw, so. Uh, let's follow, let's follow this game because, oh, we have some improvement here. Bishop c1, yeah. queen d6, rook b1, and he played bishop d7. He sacrificed this pawn. He sacrificed the pawn, yeah. Rook b8 takes, takes. Yeah. Okay. So what he's saying here in principle is that, you know, he will recover his pawn uh, for sure. And... Um, I think the absence of the the absence of uh, the white rook is is what he's he's claiming that you know everything is better for him. But why play rook b7 for bishop d7? Maybe maybe you know this looks uh, yeah bishop g4 has been played now and 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 I, I feel that uh, you know if the bishop is not exchanged here like bishop b5. Then there may be bishop c4 later. Maybe yeah. Bishop b5 and bishop c4. Yeah, this bishop g4 is being played, and uh, white is a pawn up. Is there idea to play f5? Yeah, idea. Yeah, maybe f5. To uh, weaken the pawn on d5. Yeah, but f5 now but I take um, take twice, and then I can put the no, bishop back, and that, that bishop. you opened up an open file I for my rook. I will not take yeah. it with the bishop. Uh, f5 yeah. takes takes bishop f3. 
Yeah, Bishop G4, if he swaps, I, I'm not feeling any comfortable because, see, the fact that he's kept the bishop on C1 because he doesn't want the A2 pawn to disappear. Yeah. And I feel that white is slightly getting something. And uh, time-wise, he's, he's ahead by tw a good 20 minutes. Yes. And I think that, uh, you know, all his pieces are deployed. I don't see any weakness. I don't see the rook coming down and doing any damage. So this bishop g4 is uh, simply a good move. Yeah, yeah. We can agree on that for sure. So I, I'm thinking that if black plays bishop b5, white will drop the bishop back to e2 because he's, he's, he's very eager to exchange his pieces and then he's very eager to get his bishop into a good square. So this is very poised and, uh, and I think both players we should uh, Appreciate that they are, you know, they are playing a game. They didn't want to accept for a yeah. quick draw. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Is there any other game that you think uh, viewers you want us to see? Please uh, give yeah. us a... Just uh, come to our YouTube chat and we're going to be very happy to check it out with you. So, Adiban Design, that's the last Adiband comment design, we have got. Yeah. Okay. So, what, how is, uh, you know, black is a pawn down. Okay. It looks healthy for white. I, I feel white is, should make, you know, time-wise is ahead by uh, another, you know, 20, 20 odd minutes. And this is a yeah. position, everything would come easy. Maybe just simple play. Just take the bishop away and... Um, yeah. But the uh, pawn is a pawn. Let's let's not forget that pawn is a pawn and the uh, yeah pawn is a pawn is going to come into play and very cleverly he left the drop the bishop on c1 because the queen on a3 is yeah. very disturbing already. A2 pawn was kind of pinned. The rook wasn't moving. The rook was always hanging and uh, yeah. I think only thing is if if given a choice I want my rook on c2 but but. Uh, uh, but also, I, I, I believe bishop b5, white can even play g3 with the idea of f4. So, but but uh, it's, it's uh, turning out to be a good battle. And 31 minutes and counting down, pawn down. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. So we'll, we'll anybody something. at the bottom that has an interesting game, we can quickly have a look. Let's check what is happening. Uh on the board number four, uh, so knight d4 was played. We don't have any new update. And in the board number five, okay, bishop b5 was played. Let's check the game of uh, uh, Vibisara. Yeah, there is something very interesting game I found is between Zawo. Zawo is playing black. It looks like a big attack coming. Maybe that would interest, but after we finish yeah. this, so, you know, playing and really... And Yeah, that bishop is very important. I don't know why he let it yeah. be knocked off. Let's check the Zhao's game. Okay, so... So this game is really gearing up for some something, isn't it? I, I have a sense in the air that white... F6, he's going to invade F6 at the right time. But also he's got this F4 with the idea of, you know, that also looks very... So this is the game that uh, the, the player playing white is trying to push against uh, an attack and... Uh, yeah. Well, black's position looks a little bit... Uh, but let's check what, what he did wrong because... Uh, it shouldn't be like this, these structures. Okay, e5, 98. Ah, okay, this is what Yeah, happened. this is like, you know, reversed uh, yeah. English and, uh, you know, he got the knight onto d4 and very quickly. And In then this uh, situation, the thing is that usually a black is trying to put the pawn on e5. Yeah. So that the white doesn't push on e5 and then tries to transform the knight on e6 and white is struggling to play f4 to push e5. And in this position they just got e5 right away. 
which means that it is giving a nice advantage for the white. We can say it for sure if the pawn arrived to the question, The question is actually the bishop, isn't it, on c8? It is, but uh, for now black has this e7 pawn protecting f6 square for a while. Yeah. But uh, it's very passive, it's very, very unpleasant to play this with this uh, position like this with the black pieces. Just King h5, maybe h5 wants to be played. So if well. for h5, h5. Uh, you know, for h5, I think the maybe you reckon the sacrifice will be made or h5 or he just simply because it can black win a pawn is the question h5 what is he forcing the sacrifice after h5 or it's white to play now so yeah knight g4 king h7 and h5 is coming h5 is coming but yeah. is it coming that's the question is there a move like bishop c1 i want to attack h6 h5 Right, and maybe I can play knight h6. I think I think bishop c1. I don't know unless you are succeeding with the attack. I think he, f4 looks very nice here, isn't it? F4, yes, so f4 just looks very nice. everything is defended, and the yep. knight can drop to f2, yep. and you know. F4 looks very good. By the f4 way. looks quite quite nice here, you know, and h5 will be a weakness, and now. F5. If give if you give me a chance, I want to play F5. And if you put the knight on D4, mm -hmm. then I'm thinking I will go with the queen on H4. And you know this this looks quite nice. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So again, you can see that this is one of the exciting games. And uh, uh, <coughs> what can Black do here? Uh, by the way, uh, I would like to remind that there are also another uh, two open tournaments happening now in the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival. And it's uh, besides Masters, there is a tournament Open A under 2300. And we have a very interesting game there. One player has seven points playing against uh, six and a half. So Tolentino Rustum has uh, seven points and Rostomian Mikhail with six and a half points are fighting on the first board. And there are games on the... Uh, second and third boards also with the six and a half points and we have another big fight there. We also have this tournament open under 2000, open B. Open B, yeah. Yeah. And let me quickly check who is leading there. We have five players with seven points in okay. open B. Wow. And then another... Uh, seven players with six and a half points and this is going to be a very interesting uh, fight also in the other open tournaments yeah and and we could say to the viewers the fact that abu dhabi chess festival caters to all ability yeah you know you've got the master where you need a certain grading and then you have the a the b the juniors exactly. the family tournament you know there it, are so it's, many it's, blitz it's, tournaments there yeah. is and, and it, it looks tournament. like a comprehensive uh, offer for the players of all ability for everyone uh, they, we have the we had the seniors tournament ladies tournament people with determination families communities juniors under 16 you know so so many tournaments uh, in Abu Dhabi chess festival and uh, that's why more than 1700 people participating in the tournament which is amazing and yeah and the prize fund of the tournament is uh, more than hundred thousand dollars, right? Okay. Yeah. And so the first place in the masters tournament is fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, it's it's a good thing, and uh, and 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 uh, you know, I think uh, uh, we can can we also talk about some players withdrawing from the tournament. I think when some some players feel that it's not going in their way, yeah, that uh, you know. Yeah, I mean it happens. Uh, yeah. Personally, I never accepted the fact that someone withdraws from a tournament. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I think I think some grandmasters when they don't stuck the form, yeah, they feel that it's not going their way. Uh, also, Purkashian she left the tournament. Salam left the tournament. Uh, I Wait, Aryan Chopra also p left the tournament. Uh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see this coming because he was having a nice tournament and he lost only yesterday. Yeah. Against Pranis, who is uh, showing yeah. a great tournament now, and 
well, Vantika Agrawal also left the tournament. So many players, but uh, well, Salem, I can understand he was tired. You know, he wasn't playing his best jazz. He couldn't convert a few winning positions to a win, and uh, he was just ending in a draw. And then he lost this game, and probably that was it. Atosa's tournament uh, wasn't going very well. Well. So you're saying Atusa also withdrew? Yeah. Uh, let me see after which round she withdrew. Uh, most probably, yeah, only this round she... She's withdrawn. Yeah. Or she got a bye. Let, let me uh, maybe sure. she got... She maybe she got a bye. Okay, she got a bye. She didn't withdraw. She withdrew. Yeah. Okay, she got a yeah, bye. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, my, 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 my mistake. So starting from Salem, Santos, Arian. But Arian, I don't know, he was playing a nice tournament. He had five yeah. points. He lost yesterday and he withdrew from the tournament. Yeah. And Vantika also, I think she was going very well. I mean, she had four points. And uh, yeah, she withdrew today. And she was still winning some rating, but she withdrew. Well, maybe, maybe they had to rush somewhere else or, you know. Or maybe so some of them were lazy any, to any, wake any, up at 10. Yeah, any suggestion, please no, keep no, it coming. No, no suggestions happening now. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the top board and then yeah, let's do a quick review up down. This yeah. looks uh, uh, bishop, bishop e8, g4, bishop e8, because he rightly did not put the bishop on b5. Yes. And uh, I think white has uh, some nice moves like g3. <coughs> and then the question is for black. How are you going to attack? Where is the weakness? And and uh, also, I feel that uh, you know, uh, I don't know. Queen d2 is it a move? Queen d2 is it a move? What is the idea of queen d2? I wanted to play f4. <laughs> uh, you're you're still uh, trying, but it's opening up the king with some extra chances. Yeah, because you see, f4 is it has There's to be played. You know, I mean. Five, bishop d4. So what does he play for queen d2? I'm threatening the a5 pawn. Maybe black is completely fine with the draw in this game. Oh uh, yeah, he can he, he can play like queen d2, queen c7, and uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to waste uh, any any time. But uh, I think g3 is also another excellent move here without changing the position with the idea that you know what black is the one who has to show something, isn't it here? Black has to show something here. Uh, to show what? Black has to show yeah, for the yeah. pawn. Yeah, for the pawn. Yeah. I mean, uh, well, um, but uh, I feel like black is uh, will be completely fine in the situation and in the game with the yeah, black this, pieces. Yeah, this is uh, everything to play for. Uh, you know, I think I think even I like moves like uh, you know, rook e2 here. Oh, he Shop went h6. bishop at six. I think uh, he's uh, not afraid of. Yeah, rook b2, I think he's got rook e2. Maybe that's what he was looking for. Okay, and uh, queen b4. Can we check this out very quickly? Like rook b2, rook e2, queen b4. And, uh, well, I think... Uh, because so if why, you why, why take that bishop away, you know? Yeah, from this... Yeah, nice I think guy, I right? think now I would, I would say rook takes... Uh, Rook takes b2, queen takes b2, and maybe f4. Um, yeah, but bishop then you d4? have bishop d4 check. Yeah, no, it's not easy. So rook b2, why allow this rook b2? Why allow this rook b2? That's the question. But what he wants to do? That's I don't my know. Other what, question. I, I think the bishop is misplaced on h6. I think the bishop is completely misplaced on h6. Is there a chance I might have a move like f5? So rook b2, maybe he... Because now f5 captures, I Kay. capture, and white is losing a p. Uh, okay. No, no, bishop, a, bishop f5, f5 and yes. I got rook e5. Right. Okay, five. Yeah, yeah, this, this is okay. But yeah. but I, I don't think f5 is needed. But what is this bishop at 6? What is he, so what, what is he saying? Is, I mean, oh, okay, maybe rook b2, he's uh, planning queen c1, queen c8. Queen c1, queen c8 with bd7 yeah. coming up. So so he's he is threatening that. And uh, what happens after queen a3? Yeah, queen a3, I believe that f4 will be played. You know, this is what he's hoping for. After f4, can I play just uh, bishop c3? Rook, c, rook e3? 
No, Rookie 3, yeah. I, I, you know, I mean, Rookie 2 also, I'm quite happy to play. Rookie 3, I will play Queen C5. Uh, let's say like this, and if, okay, Rookie okay. 2, this is different, Queen C5. Queen C5, King H2. Mm. You know, unless you're coming on the back rank, and this yeah. is what he's, he's looking for. Can I just play Bishop A4 here? Yeah, this looks quite, that's what I was thinking, I, I wasn't... Liking, okay, maybe now, uh, uh, now, yeah, this is getting into trouble, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So no, 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 no. Six, shouldn't play three. f4, shouldn't play f4. So queen a3, maybe simple move like queen c2 or with the idea of queen c8. So maybe just okay. queen c2 queen here. C2, bishop a4. Yeah, bishop a4, queen c4, I guess. You know, I had to work on the theme of the back rank, you know. Yeah, can be, can be. I feel that bishop h6 is completely misplaced. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's just unnecessary opportunities for the yeah, black. Yeah, let's go to another game and then let's let's have a quick uh, yeah. look around. Let's just check a game uh, between Narayanan and Pranis. Yeah, Narayanan, any more moves? Uh, no new moves. No more moves. He's, he's just thinking. I think it's just going to warm up soon. And we're going to have the most exciting moments after. Yep. Like, uh, soon. Like maybe in uh, 20 minutes it will start. Yeah, like 20 minutes way, you will see more action. Yeah. Okay, everyone, don't go anywhere. We'll take a very short break and we will be back very soon. Uh, see uh, you soon. See you soon. Positions are all, you know like all becoming exciting yeah. for us we'll go and have a quick look into the tournament hall and we'll be back yeah yeah sure see you
Hello everyone again and welcome back to the 29th Abu Dhabi Chess Festival from the sunny Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. And during the break we had some time to go to the playing hall and see what is happening there. And uh, shall we go to the second board? Yes, yeah, the second board, right away which I think is the most important one. Exactly. So after this uh, pawn was won, queen before. Queen before. Uh, G3 is what we predicted because that's a yeah. technical move. He has to play that. And, and now A4. A4. Trying to bring the pawn to A3. And uh, from A3, maybe bishop A4, bishop B3, queen B2 might yeah, be some yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah. Trying so to many, create a passed pawn. Yeah, I think, I think this bishop on G4 is misplaced in my opinion. And uh, so I'm just thinking, what, where should he put his pieces? I mean, his rook is obviously out of not not doing anything. So can he play uh, bishop e3 back or no, that's not. Or, or can he play queen c2 here? No, he can't play queen c2 because the rook uh, is hanging. So maybe bishop d2 here. Maybe bishop d2 bishop here. D2, I have queen b2 and it stops. And, and then two. queen a3 is uh, coming. Queen a4 is hanging. Yeah, bishop d2, queen a3. Let's check it out. But uh, then why the bishop came to h6? No, bishop, bishop d2, you have queen a3. Queen a3. And, uh, and then queen c2, let's say I have... Queen c2, yeah, queen c2 is possible. I might have queen uh, queen b2 here. I had queen b2 earlier also. I want to play queen b2, not... Uh, yeah, this, this is what I was... Yeah. Queen b2, and uh, after you will lose a2 pawn... Yeah, this will this be very dangerous. This pawn is just going to yeah. become a monster, well, walking monster, to become yeah, a yeah, queen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so queen before uh, queen before I, I think retreating bishop is possibly wrong. So uh, uh, not bishop d2, but rather queen c2 for queen before. How about that? Uh, not play bd2, but play. I uh, can't play queen c2. Uh, uh, I can't play uh, queen c2. I no, I can't play queen c2. Even even is hanging. No, even is hanging. Oh, one is hanging. Yeah. So rook e2 is what I'm thinking, but. After rook e2, I can play a3, bishop a4. And I'm starting to like the black's position. Yeah, Maybe black's uh, position is coming alive, isn't it? And then the two bishops are not doing anything it's coming more than alive. in particular. I, I feel that they are not doing any particular. Practically, I feel like white has to have something, but practically mm. it's not that easy. To so what about rook e3? I'm just thinking rook e3 with... Uh, but that would still do that. But what other useful move does he have? Uh... What other useful mode does he have? Or oh, maybe he should just go queen c1, and that's what I feel. Queen c1, queen c1 you know? Queen c1, I can still play queen b2, let's say. Yeah, queen b2 you play, but uh, maybe I can just go queen takes b2, uh, rook takes b2, rook e2, and, and then you I have a3, a3 bishop, bishop c1. Uh, bishop c1 is rook b1, so, yeah. so it's just being defeated very very nicely and uh, you know I don't think this is what he wants so exactly. so even even all looks doesn't look correct and so he's thinking he's, he, he's thinking how to solve this one that queen b2 and a3 is coming so what else can he do I mean if we go back to the original position what else yeah. can he do should he play bishop e2 he can't play bishop e2 here queen, queen b2 is coming or a3 is uh going to happen very soon yeah and uh, yeah I mean um, I'm starting to like the black's position so bishop e3 bishop uh, e3 but that e3. means accepting defeat isn't it yeah I mean, that means accepting defeat but but he a3, can't bishop he can't e3, untangle a3. this he cannot untangle this but uh, let me remind you that uh, Xiu has only 11 minutes and Matlakov has 30 minutes. So, yeah. but uh, I feel like Black's game is Black's idea is very clear. I want to attack a2 pawn, somehow push the a4 pawn. My bishop on e5 is a very strong bishop. For now, unless White gets an opportunity to pull it out, and uh, what to play? Yeah, this bish I think both his bishops are misplaced. I would say. Bishop on h6 doing nothing, Bishop on g4 doing nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, maybe he should just go Bishop C1 now, uh, you know, avoid all the... Very passive. Queen, maybe Bishop C1, I will play A3. Yeah, this is what I think. I feel that he must retreat his bishop, bishop B2, to... Bishop let's say, if Rook E3. Yeah, yeah. So, first Bishop C1 to stop uh, the entry, and that means you're reintroducing the bishop, but I think black has got fantastic control. He can, he can, you know, I mean, this, this is uh, much better for him, but... but uh, uh, I believe if you play a3, I can I can then play. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like this position for him. He's, everything He's is. He's up, but somehow it's like uh, yeah. it got easy to play. And uh, actually, this a4 pawn is such a big. It's it wants to become a big danger. And if white doesn't stop it at the right moment, then everything will go uh, upside down for white. Mm -hmm. So maybe he should play king g2 here. I'm king just G2, saying, King yes, G2. Uh, the, the reason is, uh, um, you know, it's just a useful move. And if you go Queen B2, I have Rook E2. Yeah. Can I start with A3? Yeah, A3 is your move. Then I feel Bishop C1. Now I'm targeting that as well. Um, yeah. This this looks quite solid for me now. I you know. Play Queen B1, A3. Yeah, Queen so B1. Maybe? I have que even Queen E2. Can I try to trap this Rook somehow? No, Queen B1, I even have, I have Bishop A3. I have Bishop A4 here. Yeah, Bishop A4 is what I thought that you should do. And uh, Queen, Queen, has Queen D3 played. attack Queen that. Uh, no, Queen D2. Four. Uh, Queen D2 is Bishop C3. Bishop C3. Queen and D2 Queen D2 is, two is uh, Bishop B5. Uh, Bishop C3. Yeah, this looks very unpleasant, doesn't it? With this pawn, I don't know. Black is attacking. So he's thinking it's not easy, isn't it? It shouldn't be easy. From what we're seeing... But it's it's again it's going to go into some kind of time pressure. And but I feel like he will find something. White has to have something. In so ca ca do do we just say that the bishops are misplaced on g4 and yeah, h6? Yeah. Because bishop h6, bishop on c1 was placed so well and uh, it was controlling yeah. everything. Yeah, whatever the bishop. I, I also believe that that bishop this bishop uh, should you know where is the good square for the bishop? It's, I don't see anything. Uh, and the rook on. Rook is hanging, so I don't know. Yeah. And what's the problem with Rook E3? Is that you go Queen B1, is it? Rook E3? Um, not yet. Queen B2, probably just. Yeah, Queen B2 is what. Queen B2, Rook E2, what happens next? Just Okay, just Queen B1. Right. Queen B1 looks quite... But I don't want to exchange these queens yet. I want to exchange these queens when my rook will be attacking the A2 pawn. Yeah. Can I just play queen? No, but queen C4 allows bishop E2, you see. That's yeah. what he wants. So rook E3, maybe. No, queen C4... Uh, queen C4, you, you are attacking A3. that A3, maybe, and then followed by bishop E2. R or rook B3, maybe, even. Yeah. Like A3, I might play rook B3 and... Uh, So he's got many things to see, and uh, and it's definitely black is holding some yeah. initiative here for the pawn. Okay, he did a move. He played king g2. Yes. Yeah. And he's like, I, I okay, think, what, I think what he's just wants to do? Pre preempting, and I, I think, you know, he's just preempting, and then it's just a move getting off the back rank, so there's no more trade anywhere, you see. So, I don't know, I don't know, this looks very, very complicated. But, uh, but what to play now, A3? But A3, uh, A3, A3, A3 the is, uh, is, is the move, I think. This looks so good for me, because yeah. Bishop A4 wants to come. Okay, he played A3, yes, yeah. he played A3. And he played quite fast, this move, A3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, there, uh, I think the problem is with Queen C2, you have Bishop A4. Yeah, Bishop A4. I just want to play yeah, Bishop A4. Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks pretty solid. Bishop on E5 is just so. So well that bishop is misplaced now. That bishop is completely misplaced. Yeah. But now maybe Bishop C1. Bishop, C, you know, I mean, I feel his bishops are not doing very well. His queen is, uh, you know, I, I feel that Black has the initiative now, definitely. 
So he's played A3 quickly and then... And then uh, White is thinking. Yeah, so what's wrong with Bishop C1 is that the bishop comes alive, isn't it? That's this main uh, problem. Bishop C1, I was offering Bishop A4 and then... Uh, yeah, and then... This was the line. And then and, you have and to then play Queen E2 and here we decided to play Bishop C3. Yeah. Maybe it's not as dangerous as it looks like, but I'm forcing your rook yeah, to Yeah, this to, is uh, looking, not, not yeah. looking very nice. Yeah. HG1 or H1 and... Uh, yeah. No, no, this, no, no. This this no. cannot be a good this, idea. This, yeah, this 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 is black is far too alive now. Yeah, and and again his pieces are not doing anything. So he, he maybe maybe he 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 can now play. After uh, a three, white has to find a move. What to do with the thing is, is the main. So queen c1 is, uh, I'm thinking that you'll go queen b2. And whether I can. Yeah, now, now you see the two bishops are coming out. Yeah. So we come back to this. Let's go and look at other games and. Uh, Let's go to the Narayanan's game because we have another yeah, uh, candidate. Lot of moves there, isn't it? Because if Pranit wins, he's just getting seven points and he catches up the Fedosev. Let's check out what happened here. So. We we did feel that Bishop f5 and then. Rook f5 and then queen e2, knight e6. Yeah, we, uh, we stopped situation. and then bishop, bishop b3 is breaking. what we d5, said. d5, finally. Finally, yeah. getting rid of that finally, weakness. Yes. Captures, captures, captures. Yeah. And now he's, he's coming after that. Yeah, even this looks dryish for me, isn't it? I mean. Looks uh, quite drawish. Yeah, quite drawish, and, and and I think he's just trying to hoodwink him somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, maybe White uh, Black will try with this mm. D4 pawn to. Put Is a draw sufficient bit for his opponent, or? Excuse me. Is draw sufficient for his opponent? Uh, he... Narayanan has five and a half points, and yeah, so uh, he, I mean, has six uh, will six be points. you know. Not the result he expected. So he will get six and a half, but with the win, uh, Black is just catching up uh, Ferusiev with the points. So there is another result. I don't know if you yeah, want to look have, at uh, Jahangir's game. Yeah, uh, Sindara won yeah. against uh, Swayam Smishra. And we can just go through it. So basically, it started with um, Petrov. Petrov. Okay, this line is uh, played uh, yeah. c6, rook e1, bishop f5. There is this move, by the way, also, but maybe not here. Bishop g4 is another yeah. move here. So it's also played, yeah. Yes. Bishop f5 is just solid, isn't it? Bishop f5 is solid. Bishop g4 leads to some complications, and maybe black is not ready to go for it. Yeah. Uh, takes, takes. Uh, can we explain to the viewers that both pawns are under attack? What is the trick there? Queen d5 is bishop h2. Queen d5 and, bishop and queen b7 is knight b4. That queen yeah. is getting trapped. Can we show that to the viewers? That and the next move is uh, that queen C8. is not coming out. <laughs> that queen is definitely not uh, placed in the right square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this looks very, very nice for black. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can't grab any pawns. Knight c3 and knight b4. Yeah. And bishop b1 was played. Rook e8, a3, knight c3, t rook e8. Queen e8. Oh, something is wrong. Okay, queen e8. Takes bishop b1. Oh, finally he managed to yeah, yeah. to get that pawn, but isn't somehow it? Somehow he lost his position. Yeah. And he lost it very fast. H5. He's losing a yeah. piece. And queen d3. Wow. Wasn't there a move like queen f5? It just follows with the rook f7. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. It was a so blunder. this is this is just uh, from uh, a really nice positions, few yeah. moves ago, and now I think things really went downhill for him, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. And so especially all, all these exchanges, I think, yeah. let white something 
coming up he didn't get the most I, I think the critical was when rook b7 came in yes yes I think like Sindara was having a good tournament but then he lost with the white pieces against Fedosev and somehow the trajectory of the tournament changed for him and uh, let's check the Asaobaiva's game wow okay what is happening here it, uh, some fireworks happened so we stopped at this situation yeah she allowed uh, he he uh, uh, oh why why was knight d3 not taken what's wrong with it okay so they prefer that the knight on g3 should not take it the knight probably he thought that the bishop is a bad bishop yeah yeah and yeah. the knight is in a closed position it, it can maneuver yeah, better but this knight on g3 is not getting back anywhere is it it's not but it is causing a lot of a trouble for white so it's very comfortably sitting on a square on g3 okay and uh, you can you can see that now the knight is exchanged yes and uh, i believe that uh, you know white has something now with f4 i think f5 is coming i, I think f5 yeah. happened knight f8 yeah and then and uh, it's uh, it's, it's it looks bad it yeah it's bad and bad so bd4 you have to go queen d8 uh, right bd4 I guess so bishop d4 looks very good here Yeah, bishop d4 just looks uh, so good. Yeah, you have to go queen e7 or something, isn't it? I wonder if draw is enough for uh, Saobayeva to get the GM norm. Maybe someone from the chat can yeah. help us with this. Because she was playing a very, very but, good But tournament. this looks okay for black, you know, I mean, yeah. yes, you got f5, yes, you got uh, everything. Uh, Saobayeva, she was playing against Matlakov uh, and they had uh, she had a big advantage but after Matlakov offered the draw she she took the draw she, took she the had draw. a nice advantage but of course she's having a very very good tournament and yesterday she won a very good very game nice against game. Uh, bishop on d6 grandmaster rated 2588 and yeah. uh, from the opening she just didn't let him go out and yeah, uh, yeah yeah this also looks okay for black you know I, i'm not bishop d4 was played I don't think it looks okay for I, I don't see anything, you know, I mean, after this Queen E7, what, what, are you th what are you saying after Queen E7? After Queen E7, can I just take, take, take on D6? Yes, uh, I guess so, you can take it, yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice advantage. It's okay, like let's go back to the second board, I guess, to see what is happening, because here we have a fight for the f first place. A3 was played and until now Matlakov didn't yeah, play any Yeah, he's thinking, he's thinking. And he's catching up Suksan G yeah, with his time. Yeah, 18 minutes 18 against minutes 11. Because against there's... 11. Yeah, and finally he played rook e3. Now that king g2 is there, now the Oh, he queen. played rook e3. Now rook b3 is a threat. But yeah. uh, bishop a4 looks No, bishop good. a4, I think now he's... Uh, he probably can play uh, more like queen... I don't know, queen, queen d3 maybe, queen d3 maybe. attacking a3, a3 yeah. and bishop b2 has to be there. Yeah, playing. then I think, I think if he gets his bishop back to d1, yeah. he's very much okay. But so, what if so after rook b2, black decides to play? Yeah, this queen b2, queen I think b2 he gets the tempo rook with rook e2, yeah. and then kicks your queen yes, back. Yes, yes. And, and the point is that when you go queen b1 now, yeah. uh, you know, uh, well, so that queen need not be exchanged, but... But there are moves for for him to 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 play. But but Queen B one looks very very nice for him, isn't it? Maybe we just Bishop C three is a possible. Bishop C one is a but Bishop B two. Yeah, Bishop C one is Bishop B two. Yeah, no no no. This is this is. Nice no, just to show. Okay, Rook E three was played. Yeah, Queen B one. You know, queen queen b2 force the force the rook to uh, unfavorable, but maybe for queen b2 he will just ignore that and. Uh, How to ignore? I mean, this pawn is a key pawn, right? I think this black might win the tournament now. I think he's he's looking. Well, he has to find some ideas. I don't think white's position has to be losing, but practically it's not that easy. Yeah. So queen b2, we have no reply, yes? Queen b2, maybe just queen d3 right away. Yeah, maybe that, that Forcing one. Forcing bishop d6. Yeah, but, but once you play bishop d6 out of that line, uh, now I can drop back rook e2, you see? After rook e2? Yeah. Yeah. 
I get Rook C2 yeah, and all, yeah, so yeah. I'm okay this now. Is, this is a different so this is very tense play, very yeah, tense play. This was uh, well played by Matlakov, mm. threatening Rook B3. A3 is always under attack, which means uh, yeah. exciting thing. And, and the threat of back rank is looming, you know, when yeah. if too many things come out, that's what he's, he's saying. And uh, yeah, Rook B3 is threatened, so I, I think what Black has to play Queen B2 there. Okay, so anything happening in any of the other games? We, we can come back to this. Uh, extreme time pressure is happening, guys. And F4 was played here. Wow. So but White is trying to win the game. That's yeah, the whole Narayanan is. Maybe you'll have another rook and a knight against. He shall try to win this game because uh, he played a good tournament, but somehow he's not. Uh, I think it's not clicking for him. Yeah. But what to play with black? I don't see any ideas <laughs> for now. I think white's position is so, so I mean, solid. Black can just stand. Also, black's position is very solid. Mm. Maybe shift to the E line now that the pressure on the D4 is gone. But uh, rook E8 is knight of six. Knight is, of six is, is, is threatening possible, something yeah. like can that. Just show that uh, there yeah. are some tactical opportunities. But rook E7 is possible. Yeah. So this again, long protracted battle left here. Anybody else is uh, having clear advantage? Uh, we have a result on the board number 11. Yeah. Urzaev uh, beat Wohidov. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of games happening. Of course, I'm pretty sure there were some interesting games. So. The Via Deshmukh game is done. Is, she, is that got completed? I can check it out. I think I think this looks. Yeah, this looks quite very bad. tricky. Uh, you think so? I mean, uh, d4, bishop d5. D4, Rook, rook uh, yeah, he, he can't play anything now. Yes. No, no, it looks... If uh, someone from the chat will have any uh, preferences... Yeah, any suggestions here, I think. We are very open to go through them. And uh, Kobalia, let's see what is happening in this game. Looks uh, equal. Black is pushing a little bit. Maybe so after, after F5 was played, uh, this was the critical move. So we played Bishop C3, F5, and then Knight D4 came. And then this is the favorable exchange, you see. And I, I think black is, is looking for some very slight advantage, but I don't know. Maybe this is very much okay. Well, we can start with the second board and uh, check out what is happening here because black is taking already like five minutes to find a move. He's trying to he's trying find to some solutions. Yeah, he's trying to think here and and uh, so the, you know the sacrifice line that is that 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 game concluded, is it? Where there was lots of sacrifices. Uh, oh yeah, which game was that? Uh, is in the commentary they said uh, check let out. Me, let me find it. Suyarov. So yeah, let's check out that game. I forgot about that game. So, Yarov. Yes, it finished and white won. After b3, e4 was played and after e4, just uh, bishop, bishop c4, c4, queen c4. Oh, queen was sacrificed. Knight g4. Oh, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even take. No, he didn't. Why? And the, oh, he took the bishop with check and now he took. And then very nice play, isn't it? Immediately, rook b1, and then yeah, rook b5, nice and then everything is crushing in. Yeah, yeah. B so is he still playing? Nice still playing? No, no, no. The game finished, and white won. Yeah. So what's the threat here? Why did he resign? He's just pieces down, and uh, the pawns are going. Uh, everything I mean, is going, isn't it? I mean, the king is weak. I mean, <laughs> yeah. What, the, what to play? Mm. 
So this was a nice game. Yeah, it? yeah. So, uh, he played queen b2. He played queen b2 and queen d3 has to be played apparently by white because all other moves are leading to some uh, bad positions. Yeah. So queen d3, bishop d4, rook e2, is that what you're saying? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then the bishop gets overloaded on that. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. But we have to appreciate that both players are fighting it out, you know. This is that's very awesome. I mean, uh, this is what we want to see in the last round, right? Yeah. So that we will see a lot of... Uh, we will not know who is the winner of the tournament until the last moment. Yeah. There is a close fight. There's uh, a big fight here. There's a big fight. There's a big fight. I wish yeah. we had another game happening on the first board, but... So, so is it fair assessment that today's game has produced, like that knight d5 game, the, nice the sacrifice game, Bishop you know, has sacrifice. provided a lot of entertainment for our viewers, you know? Of, of course, I mean, knight d5 was very well found by even. And uh, knight d5, I'm, I'm telling like, this is something that has, needs to be uh, put in the books. Yeah. I'll probably pub publish it somewhere because it was very beautiful. So is is time any element here? He's got a good 16 minutes 16 against, minutes. He has an against 6 minutes. minutes. He has an extra pawn. So queen d3, what's the move? Is it bd6 or? Bishop d6. Bishop okay. d6 and then rook e2. Can Kick. I just play rook a8 after queen d3 or there is already rook e2? Yeah, I, I don't think he's going to give this up. but. Yeah. We just uh, go and have a quick look inside and come back. No, I. Yeah. Okay. We so just took a break, right? So we can just. Uh, yeah. Follow. Yeah. Just go yeah, in. Maybe, and maybe after thirty minutes, uh, we can. <laughs> yeah, we can have a look now, and uh, you know, a few okay. more moves will okay. come, and yeah. we will take a very. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Very very short break. Don't go anywhere. Uh, exciting game. We're just going to pop into the tournament hall to have a. Quick look and uh, we'll resume very shortly. Don't go anywhere. This game is getting more and more exciting and we will be back very, very soon. Yeah. Any suggestions, please give us. We are quite happy to review that game. Yeah, don't go anywhere. Yeah. And this is the game.
Welcome back everyone to the Abu Dhabi Chess Festival 2023, the last round and here we have some news. After Queen B2 on the second board, uh, White played Queen F3, threatening to capture on A3. And now they are repeating the moves, Queen C1, yeah. Queen D1, Queen B2, Queen F3, Queen C1. They're just repeating, they are just repeating the moves and it's uh, three times repetition. And so I this think is a draw now. Now, yes. Very unexpected, isn't it? It was. They were playing such a such an interesting game, and draw draw yes. was agreed. Draw was agreed, Green. and we have already two players who have seven points yes. out of nine. Fedosev and Xuxianju they were leading the whole tournament together. At some point, Fedosev got the sole leading, and uh, eventually. I think we don't know what the tiebreak is when all the games are over. Uh, yeah, we'll not know. But uh, by the way, we have another result on the board number five, where Artemiev beat Atahan, and yeah. he beat him in the rook end game. It was a very interesting rook end game. Yeah. Uh, we can just uh, start just quickly from the browse it. We 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 analyzed until we analyzed when they were on the yeah the spawn. Let's go through the moves. Yeah, and I think this opposite color bishop end game. Simply lost the pawn, yeah. and, and and you know, and then you know this is a very favorable end game for yeah, for, and you know it's just e6 and and grandmasters like Artemiev they will fight in these situations yeah. of course till the end because they are very experienced and uh, yeah they know how to win in this kind of situations yeah. rook c6 and. E7. Yeah, is because if you play uh, rook e7, it's uh, rook c5 and rook g5, isn't it? Yeah, he tried a little bit, checks trying to push, but then it didn't <laughs> work, and then he added some time, maybe. Yeah. So he repeated some moves to add some time. And, so, and now, yeah, king d4, and now rook e5, and now the domination begins yeah. because the past c pawn is. Rook e6 is a. Yeah, rook e6 is a threat, and, and I don't know. There's no protection from rook e6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black yeah. is also losing after. So, what's wrong with rook f3 now for black? Can play. Uh, oh, but play still rook e6, check, check rook g6. Uh, I will capture yeah. g6, and later uh, yeah. h5 pawn will also fall. So, we have a draw. It's official on the second board, and first three boards finished in a draw and we have the fourth game going on let me remind you that we have a player with the black pieces pranis and he if he manages to win this game we will have a share from the first to third places okay and i th i feel like he's trying he's trying yeah he's trying to push on narayanan his opening choice wasn't the best one but yeah. uh, and but he lost a lot of time, he got a yeah. very difficult position, eventually he managed to go out from that situation, but yeah. it was I, 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 I feel here that, you know, Narayanan will be the one pushing because he, he can go now Queen G6, followed by Knight D3, and then, you know, that's the Nimsovich Knight, which yeah. we talked about. And the threat of Rook E8 is there, so, you know, wh but what is the... Queen G6, I might have Queen F3. Uh, no, Queen G6, you have Queen F3, that's the point. Yes. And then, uh, oh, maybe, maybe... Rook 2 is impossible because I can play bishop f4. Yeah. So, I just... So maybe, maybe rook c3 is coming. Just in case, so queen f3, yeah. rook is hanging, and instead of rook d2, there is this beautiful bishop tactics, f4. Bishop yeah, f4, yeah, very nice, very nice. And, and, and I think that rook e8 check is, again, it will lead to an end game, which I'm not so yeah, sure. Queen f3. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying rook e8 check, rook e8, queen e8 check. And then King Queen E4 check. I, I I have a feeling that this may be Narayanan's uh, strength because, yeah. And then Knight F2 back. No, no, no. Don't allow D3. Sorry. Why yeah. not? Why not? Yeah. This is also equally, yeah. you know, very very nice for him. Yeah. And then he might play H5 and fix it. So, so he, this is quite nice, isn't it? Yep. So in the whole tournament, you feel that these two people who was tying for the first boss, they played very consistent chess. They were playing very consistent chess. Their game was a very interesting one, by the way. Both of them could win in that game, but eventually it ended in a draw. And Fedosev was the one pushing the whole game. And then uh, Xuxianju got a chance at some point to finish the game and win the game after a crazy game. Yeah. And eventually the game in ended in a draw. And yeah. Now they are having a tie, waiting for the game number four to finish to see if they are 
tying only two of them or they are tying uh, three of them. Yeah, okay, so he's played rook e4 and forcing bishop c5 and then he has rook e5. I think, I think yeah. he's, he's trying to edge something here. I feel like it's going to be a draw. Yeah, yeah, but I think Narayanan won't let until a big fight in. Yeah, because you never know. I mean, I mean, let's say bishop c5, my knight can jump to e5, trying to use the... No, I was thinking rook e5 to force the queen, bishop c5, rook e5. And, and uh, queen e4, knight d3. You know, I'm just gaining small to, things there. I want to... Yeah, but knight. what's the knight doing on e5, you mean? Uh, I think like the black squares are very open. But, up. but uh, you know, uh, what I'm suggesting is you're gaining control of the e5, which is very dangerous. So rook yeah. e5, and then the queen goes. Uh, if we show it, to the, show it to them, you know, rook e5, where is the queen going? Uh, somewhere now queen e4. And then knight d3, and then, you know, this, this is turning out to become mm -hmm. quite good, you know, knight d3. And then uh, I've got so many good moves here, isn't it? And I might, I might uh, change, okay. the, change the thing, uh, you know, this is all looking quite nice for Narayan. And I think, I, I don't think this game is, uh, you know, Narayan is going to fight tooth and nail for mm -hmm. this particular point, and, you know. Yeah. By the way, just uh, to mention that after bishop c5, white just has queen b5. Yeah, there's queen b5 yeah. as well, just mentioned. Yeah. So rook e4 was played in the game and... Uh, yeah. So what, what is it then? Is it rook c3, queen d4, queen d4, rook... Uh, oh, is there something that he's hoping that rook oh, c3... Let's check it out because this... But rook, g, rook c3 is a checkmate. Yeah, checkmate. You know, he can't yeah. do anything. So, Narayanan on the offensive here. Oh, I got something. Let me show to the viewers. Sure. Uh, I will play bishop c5. Queen b5. Okay, and then you will play queen b5, and I will play d3 now. Okay. Um, my knight is not... Knight hanging. d3 is my trap of bishop g1, but you can play queen d3. <coughs> Yeah. And uh, this is just down. So, yeah. well. so nothing, nothing, no tricks left. Yeah. I, I feel like after rookie four, uh, black has to find something else. Yeah, it's rook d4. Once this pawn is won, it's quite tricky, isn't it? Yeah. Can he let him win this pawn by playing queen c6? Because however you take bishop c5. I was c5. thinking about it. And then uh, queen c2, and then you win the pawn on a2. Yeah, For queen example, c6 like here, now. Queen uh, d4, we can just play... Uh, bishop c5. Here we win a piece. And then... And then we take the rook. Yeah, this is queen c2 now. Oh, queen, uh, yeah. Everything is... Everything... A lot of tricks are happening there. Yeah. So the pawn may be poisoned after queen c6. Queen c6. Uh, uh, maybe he has to go rook d4. Sorry, I'm rook sorry. D4 rook d4. Bishop c5. And then rook d8 check. And then, you know, Narayan will start grinding this down. King h7, queen back to d3 check, plant the knight on e4. Maybe, and then, yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. This is, I, don't, I don't feel like bishop f8 was played. Yeah. Just so bishop he, f8 was played. Yeah. I, I, think, I, I think what he's saying is that you can have the pawn, but what next? So rook d4, he's, he's just... First of all, let's mention that queen d4 doesn't work here because uh, captures, captures... And then rook c2, the next yeah. one is going to be bishop c5, winning a knight. So the only way to capture it is by the rook. And when you capture it by the rook, probably black's idea is... Queen... Well, it's hard to say what is the black's idea. Queen c6, maybe. Queen c6. I have rook d8 and uh, white won a pawn. Yeah. Let's not forget about this. Yeah, so this Narayanan is now going to grind it, isn't it? He's... Well, he's he will down. grind this down. He will grind this down. Yeah. We don't have uh, new results yet. Okay. Upload it to see what is the tiebreak going like. So can we go back uh, to... Apparently Fedosev is leading with a tiebreak at this moment. I'm checking know. it. What back. about Bimbisara's game? We, that was like... Yeah. We left Check it in a Bimbisara's very game. critical situation and... Uh, so... So after F5, this is what we said... Uh, Queen e7, seven. and then you know you you predicted that queen d6. I don't know why he played queen f4. 
Uh, I, I think no, that... No, why not Queen D6? This is a question. I think maybe, I don't know. It looks good. It looks good to me. You know, why, why these players, you know, what are they... But maybe, you know, it's not going out anywhere. Maybe, maybe you're just scared of... But what, maybe. Yeah, maybe this is not going out anywhere. You see, maybe the deep six pawn is not going mm -hmm. anywhere. So Queen yeah, F4... Queen F4 was played after Queen F4... G5... Like played... Um, G5. Yeah, now I, I, I believe now. Queen D6. Maybe he wanted to induce yeah, this weakness. Maybe. He just and, wanted and not uh, to give up the pawn on the f5. And and uh, this, you know, uh, I don't I don't see this, uh, uh, you know, this maneuver of uh, getting the pawn to e5 finally. E5 so why is he why why is he sacrificing the pawn? Because f e5, what what bishop e4? Uh, he's playing knight g3, knight g4. But I'm wondering what is wrong with the simple rook d1 here. Yeah, rook d1 looks good. Bishop c2 looks good for me. Yeah, well. Yeah, but I don't know. This e5 looks uh, a bit trickier. Knight h2, bishop b7, knight e g4. Yeah. Rook d8, rook e2. Yeah. And f6. Uh, yeah. Actually, e5 might be an interesting move. Like e4. Yeah. Is the black starting to push somehow? Yeah, black, I think, uh, you know, white is saying that maybe... Black is out from that... Uh, you know, squeezed position where yeah. there was no space, the pawns were weak, and suddenly exchanged a few pieces and now. So what? There is no fine. threat here. Oh, okay, there's threat is knight. No, there's not even knight h6 is not the threat. So what's happening Still, here? Black's position is completely. Fine Black's position is okay here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is more than okay, I believe. <laughs> more uh, than okay, I yeah, like no, that. No, it's okay. Let's let's call it okay because. Yeah. Uh, especially after the previous positions to get in this situation, of course, it's a it's, it's a good thing. And white has only one minute on the clock, and black has six minutes on yeah, the clock. Yeah, so this might be the game that we are hoping that white will, you know, black will win this yeah. game, and then maybe the grandmaster norm for them. Let's see what happens so in this game. So with with one minute, I, uh, you know, maybe, maybe just uh, yeah, rook yeah, d four he just played, captured so and queen no c five. Queen c five was played so that there knight is knight g four, and then your plan of uh, planting the knight on e five is absolutely. I think queen c2 check, he's going to... Queen c1 might be interesting with the rook c2 idea. No, queen c2 check, what's happening, and queen a2. Uh, queen c2, I will just play king h3. King h3, and then... Yeah, queen c1 now. Can I go to this risky lines, knight e5? Yeah, this looks, looks very, yeah. very monstrous. The queen and the knight together with this open uh, white squares, it's going to be a... Yeah. Killer vibe in this game. So, so Queen C2, King H3. Maybe Queen C1 yeah, yeah. is the move here. So that after Knight E5, I have the same idea, but in a different way. Yeah. Maybe Queen C2 now. Rook C2, King here, and maybe just H5. Yeah. Might be this is, this will create D6 trouble. Here. Yeah. But, uh, there this, is Knight F7 check. Yeah. Knight F7, King G8, and uh, let's say Knight H6. If black captures, uh, black will lose here after uh, bishop g7, there is rook d8 checkmate. So black cannot capture and after knight h6, maybe just black has to go for this drawish line. Knight f7, king g8, knight h6 and... Yeah, but and white, white doesn't want to draw here, isn't it? But, uh, of course white doesn't want to draw, but it was played. Queen c2 but, was played but and king queen c2 was played, king s3 was this played. This looks like a knight's advantage. So what's wrong with queen a2? What are we saying wrong with queen a2? Knight e5. 95 and then all the squares are yeah. very powerful. Uh, okay. I believe that white's position can be winning here. Yeah. After king h3, black is thinking. I think black, well, black can And, and look at the clock going down for black. Look at the clock. Five, uh, four, four, three, three two. two. This is going so fast. Move. Move, move, move. Move. I believe he did the move. Uh, huh? Just I believe he did the move with just, yeah, he did the move on three seconds. Yeah. And he played queen d3 and white answered very fast, of course, rook d3. Yeah, this is winning for white, isn't it? Rook c2 has to be played probably. Rook e2, I think there, there is a problem that uh, yeah, this looks he could very go he could go rook d5 and then rook a2, rook b5 yeah, and then that's winning for him. For Again, this will be a long game. Can we sh quickly switch to Bimbisara game because that is more interesting for me? Because if she wins, that would be really congratulation to her, isn't it? Yeah, she will have a wonderful tournament. Yeah, A3. I think I think she's making some progress now, isn't here, isn't it? At some point, F6 pawn might be hanging, like let's say. In, uh, in, in danger, she can get Bishop C8 at the right moment, you yes. know. 
Yeah, but the king is a bit trapped. But uh, rook d6, I'm, I'm interested. But but where is white's progress? White's got no progress here. Yeah. And uh, he, she's got four minutes forty-eight. White is white is under a lot of pressure. So what move is he going to play? So I mean, what is he threatening? Knight f2. So he's he trying to, to win that pawn, isn't it? He just wants to take on e4, so, but it allows so, uh, rook e6, I guess. Yeah, rook e6. Then I think he is going to take on e4, bishop e4, rook e4, and then capture, capture, and then rook f6. Yeah, and yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in that position. Yeah, As they the pawns are equal, and uh, yeah. Well, let me check again if uh, chess results are... Available. Ah, so might not be easy after knight f2, winning that pawn. Yeah. Is it is it rook e6 that she will play, uh, white will play bishop takes e4? Rook e6 is bishop takes e4, maybe that's that's the plan. Oh, this might be possible. Yeah, and yeah, then right. bishop e4, knight yeah, yeah. e4, and then, you know, the pawn stays alive. So maybe that's something there. But white is under pressure, and now she's got four minutes and thinking. Okay. I'm still waiting for chess results to upload some. Uh, let's go to the game four because uh, this. Yeah. Uh, so a lot what of happened things. to Kobalia's game? We were we were looking at Kobalia's game, and I think Kobalia might have might have made some nice progress since we yeah. left him. After uh, yeah. Is it a nice progress? So where did we leave him when when we were it when was we were at somewhere like yeah. here yeah here okay and let's play uh, the moves okay I think black kept pushing uh, Kobalia is white ah uh, just e three is too powerful is it, it yeah it's uh, e three and yeah. uh, black uh, it's a big advantage for the black yeah f e three is bishop e three check king h1 and then queen c6 bye bye yeah and uh, i think uh, you know black kept his cool here isn't it yeah 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 e3 looks very you know what 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 can you do against this you know i mean uh, if if uh, he wins this game murzin will be six and a half points so it means that yeah. he's gonna fix his place in the yeah top so, uh, 10 let's say and he's going to yeah. be sharing from the third or yeah. even for fourth or uh, third places. But uh, looking at the board, the number four probably. Yeah, this looks like uh, resignable now, isn't it? I mean, king looks h1 like is forced and then, oh, he, uh, there is d5. Maybe is that's d5. the point. There is d5, but I can just yeah. play here. Maybe queen d6, queen f3. Rook f2 was played. Nice move. Queen e1. And what's next? What is next here? Queen seven maybe. I'm not sure though. So what's what's queen wrong e7, with queen yeah. e seven? Nothing is wrong with queen e seven. Yeah, with with the idea of bishops if d five bishop to c five yeah. and queen e four. This has to be winning for the white, no? Yeah. Like uh, for the black, sorry. Uh, looks like completely winning. He's got h four at the right time as well. Yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, looks like Murzin will win his game. <sighs> okay, so it's been very eventful day today, you know. It was. Lots of was. fighting chess and, you know, and uh, people fighting for norm, for places. Of course, and, for and, prizes. Uh, and uh, I, I also heard that uh, next year it's going to be a much more bigger event. That's what is, uh, you know, I, when, when some no, of the, uh, uh, this, the 30th year say, has, has to be a very yeah. big one, isn't it? Yeah, is, is the 30th it's year, it has to be really a big one. People say in uh, Emirates, inshallah. In Emirates <laughs> Palace? No, in uh, Emirates, all in all, United Arab Emirates. Okay. The country. Yeah, it's, it's a big thing, isn't it? 30 years of uh, 30 one years, festival of going strong and, uh, you know. I think I think this this has been a yeah you know especially uh, you know for for me uh, having come here and you know I felt that you know I've connected back with chess yes I yes. haven't uh, seen a tournament for a long time of course uh, you know other than looking online but here I I can see much more 
it's so much different right when you're in the yeah. playing hall and you can uh, follow the emotions yeah the emotions games, uh, yeah. how fast everything is changing so anything can we say about the a, a group is the game finished there a group can we update the viewers uh, there are there is no finish but uh, i can say that hans niemann has a very low tie break yeah with the six and a half points Okay. So it was basically worth for him probably to uh, fight okay. today, but uh, so he fixed his place in 410. So okay, so the winner of the A gets promoted to the Masters. Is that correct? Ah, the winner of the A, right, right, right. Uh, in the A, I went to check the games by the way. In the A, yeah, and uh, they were still playing the top three boards. Well, we have results. So basically, the first board was a draw. Yeah. The second board was a draw, and the third board, Sultan Ibrahim, UAE player, he won, and he won the tournament. This is wow! That okay. is he, um, he shared, he shared, shared, with shared. but it's still incredible result for him, isn't it? This is wonderful, of course, of course. Let's yeah. see, he's rated to twenty one hundred. His international what is his performance? Can we say to the viewers? Are, I'm trying to that is down. really good news out of and this. He is down in the rating minus two. Yeah, but but I think he's he, crazy. He, he's minus in rating, but he still wins the tournament. This yeah, is, wins the tournament together. Yeah. Okay. Twenty seven was played in this game. Yeah. By the way, well, he didn't win the tournament. Uh, uh, he shared the first and the yeah, second. Yeah, shared the first is still good enough for him. I know him as a as a junior, and I've I've seen him, and and you know. He yeah. would be delighted. He would be yeah. delighted with this performance. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and, and uh, you know, he he is a player who showed a lot of promise, and he still have a lot of promise. Hopefully, he will. Yeah. The, and and the question was, you know, who is the next Salem? Who is your, the next Salem? Yeah. <laughs> we were hoping it was Omran. Yeah. Okay. So you know. So what's happening in the B group? Is there any uh, result? In the big group, uh, we have two players with the eight points, and uh, uh, they are from the board number three is playing. Yeah. And so if he wins, he could join them. He is could it? join them. The white pieces. Uh, yeah. Could join them. So but okay, wonderful for the UAE. I mean. Yeah, the that, that's UAE. really good result. Yeah. Absolutely. I will definitely congratulate him, and uh, of course, you know, I, I'm so pleased for him. Of course, he was number 12 in the tournament and he got the second yeah, place. Yeah. He has to be happy. He still lost some rating, which is a little bit weird. But yeah, but, but it's okay. But, you know, but the win, okay. winning, winning this tournament yeah. is quite nice. So, as we said, uh, so Rook A1, H4 has been played here, isn't it? Yes. H4 was played in there. So, in the B is still, which countries uh, you think is uh, uh, finishing on the top? In the B, we have to check it out because it's very complicated for now. Looks like uh, Indian. Indian player is. Yeah. Uh, he got eight points out of nine. And nine, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. And, and, and this tournament, I can tell you, is very well uh, received in many, many countries. And, and they feel that this is one tournament where, you know, uh, like we said yesterday, all abilities, yes, yeah, yeah. and you know, friendly tournament, not five days, nine rounds. Yeah, yeah it's, a, yeah. it's a good tournament. Of course, every day one round. It's a, it's more it's more. It's really nice, really nice. So King G7 was played after Rook A8, and um, can we say that Murzin will win this game? Yeah, I feel I th like if he doesn't blunder anything, he has to. So Rook A8, what is the what's the, what's the thing he's saying? I'm just thinking that can I play H takes G3, X takes G3, and then Rook A8. Can I? Can I? He played Rook B8 with the threat of uh, Rook B7. B7. So Black can just play King H6, I guess here. And uh, after Rook B7, there is just Queen E8 uh, with the threat. No, no. Of can, can't he play H takes G3 and Rook B7? Uh, yeah, rook b7. Just I'm, I'm just thinking g2 check and then okay, and then, and, and then uh, rook e2 yeah. <laughs> check. But uh, <laughs> can I can I just take like? Uh, yeah, you have the yeah, h3. You have to take h3. You have to take and now queen g5. I think that's pretty much. Queen g5. There are no curtains, checks, isn't it? Queen g5 has to be game over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely spotted. H takes on g3, letting white play the. Oh, we have a result on the board number four and. Narayanan wins the game. 
So what happened, how, what happened after that? Uh, okay, so now he's showing his amazing technique in, in the game and then, and then, you know, I think, I think, uh, oh, and you know, this is uh, super technique, isn't it? Yes, it is, it is. And what we can say, I mean, uh, so we have two players who are sharing the first and the second places. We will have the results uh, quite soon. Yep. And uh, we have people sharing from the third place with the six and half points. I can tell you how many of them are there. And... Um, Oh, by the way, we have the results now. So basically, Fedosev so is leading now with the Buchholz. Right. I found a very amazing game uh, in Popo against Amaya. Maybe that's some entertainment because with all the top games, there is a nice king hunt there. If we can go to Popo against Amaya. Yeah. Okay. So this game, there is a very nice king hunt. Let's show the viewers. I think they they like this kind of stuff, isn't Check it? Check it out. I don't have this game uh, live. Oh, no. I have it here. Uh, well, uh, I, don't, I don't have it here, so... You don't have it here, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can call out the moose because... Uh, it's okay. going to take long, right? Okay, well. so I can call out very quickly. This is... Uh, um, e this is... Uh, oh, okay, so quite a few moose, but... Uh, but th this was... Uh, Tarash. I think I think uh, we almost have the result for the tournament yeah, yeah. already. And uh, so uh, we can tell the viewers you can pop the look at this game online. Yeah, if you want, uh, we don't have it in chess.com showing, but uh, maybe yeah. you can check it in some other websites. So you say that uh, the Chinese player rated twenty six. Uh, 2608. Uh, yeah. Right now, Fedosev is leading with the Buchholz, and it's the difference is uh, half point. Yeah. Half point, which means that everything can happen in the end. And then yeah, everything can happen. Yes, but uh, I think we still don't have the result of Narayanan, and uh, not only Narayanan, also Murzin will win. There will be plenty of players who have the six points, six and half points. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it depends from Asaubaeva's game, eight. Let's check Asaubaeva's game. What is happening here? So, so rook e6 was played, bishop e4, like I said, and now the knight retains the pawn. Knight c3, allowing that, you know, that he will win that pawn. And now rook d3, knight a3, has just one extra pawn up, and then the knight heading back to, and then, I think this is quite nice, isn't it, rook e5? Rook e5, and... Yeah, uh, white no, no, this looks very, very well, looks tricky so for Bimbisara. It's like white is winning here. Yeah, well, it's winning. There's nothing. Why there's no winning, tricks yeah, for yeah. her. And pity, I think pity because uh, she was so close to her uh, GM norm. And yeah. anyways, uh, oh, she already resigned. resigned. Anyways, okay. even though that uh, she didn't win the last game, we can say that uh, he, she uh, pulled out a very great performance, which is awesome, and we're yeah. happy for her. We have results yeah. in almost most of the boards, uh, especially in the top boards. So. First board, uh, Fedosev Vladimir against Hans Niemann Mok draw. Second board, Matlakov Maxim against Xuxia and Jiu draw. Third board, Lu Shangli against Aravind uh, Shidamaram. Was an draw. early draw, yeah. yeah. Board number four, Narayanan against Pranis Narayanan 1. Yeah. Uh, fifth board, Artemyev 1 against Atahan. Sixth board, uh, I think uh, Kobalia's game also. Kobalia Murzin. lost, yeah. Yeah, Murzin 1, Murzin 1 against uh, Kobalia and we can say that we have two players with um, seven points and we have, I said, seven or eight players with a six and a half points uh, following them and this is going to be mainly our top ten. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to all the winners, especially uh, Fedosev and Xuxian Ju. We are still waiting to see what's going to happen, but... Uh, at this moment, Fedosev is leading in the tiebreak with a half point, but everything can happen unless the tournament is completely over. Yeah. So congratulations to them and congratulations to everyone who... All the participants. All the participants, uh, organizers, of course. Uh, and one more time, 
It was more than hundred thousand dollars in the whole tournament prize yeah. fund, and the winner of the tournament is going to take fifty thousand dollars, and uh, the second place is ten thousand yeah. dollars. We can say that we finished uh, one of the biggest and most fun chess events in the year, yeah. Abu Dhabi Chess Festival, twenty yeah. ninth. And as you mentioned, next year there will be the thirtieth Abu Dhabi yeah, Chess will Festival. Yeah, will be will be will be much bigger. That's what I've been. It will uh, be much bigger and. One more time, thanks to the organizers, thanks to the participants, congratulations to everyone, and thank you, Ravi, for being a yeah, I, 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 co-commentator. Yeah, I just say that, you know, thank you so much for, you know, facilitating this commentary, and I, I think that we, we got most of it, isn't it, did we? We did, we did. It was, I enjoyed every single day of this yeah. tournament. And yeah, this commentary is, uh, and coming to, you know, and we want to thank the viewers for following us. Of and um, you know this, this has been a good event very wonderful thank you one more time and let me remind you it was international master ravi kumar and me maria gever with you one more time thank you for being with us thank you for following the games and this was 29th abu dhabi chess festival and we can say that we are finishing our commentary on this have a nice day everyone and see you next year in the same event thank you